Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here, and in this video series, I want to be walking you through uh, really everything that you need to do to go ahead and set up yourself an automated funnel and really get your business up and running using Kartra. And for those of you guys that are new to Kartra, it is a fantastic all-in-one system. And for many years, and, and maybe for many of you, uh, you've been trying to run your business online, and there are so many tools uh, that you need to run your business. You need a website builder, you need email uh, automation, you need a C, uh, CRM, uh, you need a calendar system, you need Zapier to kind of wire everything together. And uh, you end up with kind of this system that's kind of duct taped together, it doesn't always completely work. And the beauty of Kartra is that it does really everything that you need in an online system and it's all in one place. So you only have one software to deal with, one tool to use. And so you know, I'm excited to show you guys how to use this tool. And if you don't already have Kartra, I've, I've hooked it up to where you can get a $1 14 day trial. So as we go through this uh, video playlist, uh, I'm gonna walk you through how to set all this stuff up. So if you wanna follow along, you can uh, click the link below to sign up for a free trial of Kartra. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the first video. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your payment gateways inside of Kartra so that way you can accept payments right on your website um, for any uh, digital products or services that you may be offering to your clients. So first things first, over here on the left, um, you come down here to where it says My Integrations, give that a click. And the two most common payment gateways that folks are using online is either PayPal or Stripe. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to set up in this example. There's a step-by-step -step process for each of them. And so all you gotta do is you scroll down here and let's do Stripe first. So here's Stripe. And first thing you click these little dots right here and then you can uh, hit the plus for new integration, okay? And if you'd like the technical, doc uh, technical documentation, it's right there for you if you want it. But again, I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. And what this is showing you is um, you need some information. So to integrate your Stripe into, your, into Kartra, it, you need your secret key and you also need your publishable key. And so let's jump on to Stripe and I'll show you exactly where to find that. And then you can pop that information in here and you'll be good to go. So here is one of my Stripe accounts here. And over here on the left, you see where it says developers? You wanna give that a click. And again, hopefully you've already set up your Stripe account. Uh, otherwise you won't be able to access what I'm accessing right now, but you wanna go ahead and uh, completely set up your Stripe account. Uh, if you don't already have Stripe and you wanna use it to accept payment, there'll be a link below this video where you can get yourself set up with Stripe. Uh, but either way, if you hopefully have done so and have that all set up and you're ready to go here, uh, you see where it says API keys? Go ahead and give that a click. And this is where you're gonna find that information. Remember, it's asking you for your secret key and your publishable key. So the first one that we see that's automatically visible for you is your publishable key. And here it is right here. And of course, I'll have this grayed out um, on the video. But all I'm gonna do is take this uh, under, underneath where it says token and copy, uh, it's a super long letters, numbers, it's a big old code. And I'm gonna go ahead and control C and I'm gonna copy that, come back to Kartra, and I'm gonna pop that in right here. That's the publishable key, okay? The second thing you need, go back to Stripe. And you see where it says, you know, secret key, and it'll say reveal live key token. Go ahead and give that a click, and it will reveal your secret key, okay? And this is unique to your account, so it's not um, a, a token that you want to give out or uh, make available online, okay? This is purely just to uh, track your payments. You want to keep this very private. Um, and then go ahead and copy that, okay? Control C, and I'm going to jump back into Kartra, and I'm going to add it right here into secret key. So I got my secret key in here, I got my publishable key in here. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And just like that, okay, uh, it is now integrated. So this gateway for Stripe is now integrated right here into Kartra, I can click the X right here. And it'll show me right here that I got the check mark here because the integration has been added. So later in this video series, we're gonna show you how to set up some pages, how to create a product where you can accept payment, and I'll show you uh, where you can actually select now a Stripe, so that way people can you know pay with a credit card right on your website. So let's go ahead and as well set up PayPal. Now again, some people just use Stripe, okay? Some people just use PayPal. Some people like to offer both. And for this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up both, so that way, whichever way you're going, uh, you'll be taken care of. 
So let's go ahead and scroll down here, and here's PayPal, okay? And slightly different process, there's a few extra things we need to do here to set up your PayPal, but uh, starting with the little dots, give it a click, and then click New Integration. And the first thing it's gonna say is Connect PayPal. Okay, so I'm gonna click this blue button, and it's gonna ask me to log in to my PayPal account. Okay, so I'm gonna log in here with one of my PayPal accounts. Okay, I'm gonna click Log In. And I'm gonna log in right here. And so what it's asking you here is it's asking if you wanna grant permissions to Kartra. And so there's a couple of things that it's you know, wanting permissions on, but essentially if you wanna be able to use uh, PayPal on your Kartra websites, you have to grant these permissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and click grant permission. And then from here, it's actually going to redirect me back to Kartra. And so it's now showing the email address for the PayPal account that I was using, but there's one more thing missing here. It's requiring a PDT token, that stands for Payment Data Transfer, okay? And we're not gonna get into the uh, techie stuff, uh, but you need your PDT token here in order to finalize this integration. So let me show you how to find that in your PayPal. So we're gonna jump back over here into PayPal, and I'm actually gonna log in to the account that I used to set up this integration. So essentially, re-log into your PayPal account. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the gear over here and you're gonna go to account settings, okay? Once you're in account settings, you're gonna scroll down a little bit and then over on the left-hand side, you see where it says website payments? We're gonna give that a click. And then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna go to website preferences, okay? And we're gonna click update. And what this is gonna do is it, it allows your customers after they make their purchase using PayPal to be redirected back to your Kartra page, okay? And inside of the technical documentation, and here it is right here back on Kartra, you can click this and it's gonna kind of walk you through kind of the definitions and the why, right? Um, but back here in PayPal, again, just to keep a video and keep this video, uh, just to keep it short and sweet and keep this video concise, um, what you're doing is you're setting it up to where you just want to have your people redirected back to Kartra. And from here, you're going to scroll down, okay? And you come to this payment data transfer section. Okay, make sure it's on, right? And you will see your identity token. So here's your PDD token right here. You're going to grab this. Okay, you're going to go ahead and copy it, Control C. So I just highlighted it, copied it. Okay, of course, I have it blanked out for the video. Uh, and then you're going to come back to Kartra and you're going to put that PDT token right here. Okay, control V to paste. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And as you can see, um, we have saved successfully, so we're good to go here. So this payment gateway is now configured. And uh, you can see now by the little check mark uh, right here that uh, this integration is activated and we are good to go. So just like that, guys, we've been able to integrate Stripe and also PayPal, so that way we can use either of them or uh, both uh, to accept payments, again, for your digital products or for your services that you might be offering on your website uh, using Kartra. So hopefully you guys found value in this training and in this step-by-step -step walkthrough. And if you have not already signed up for Kartra, you can click the link below this video and you can get yourself a $1 uh, 14-day trial to Kartra. It is the most powerful uh, tool that, uh, that is available online right now. Because uh, again, it's an all-in-one tool that allows you to run your entire business uh, again, just using one tool. For many years, I had to use multiple tools to run my entire business. It was very complicated and uh, uh, very, very tech intensive. And so for those of you guys that are, especially if you're not, if you're not techie, uh, this is a fantastic tool to use because again, you have all your data, everything you need all in one place. So again, if you don't already have a Kartra account, go ahead and click the link below this video and get yourself signed up for Kartra. Uh, but that's it for this training, guys. I will see you in the next video. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a list and also how to set up a couple of tags using Kartra. You know, and again, this is a very powerful all-in-one tool here, and obviously you're going to be using it for your business, so the goal with any business, we want to acquire customers, we want to generate leads, and so as these leads opt in on your websites, we want to go ahead and put them on a list. And with Kartra, you can actually do all kinds of different automations, which we'll talk about in another video. 
but you can use tags as well. You know, obviously if somebody signs up and joins a list, you can have that trigger an automation. But what I like to do is, you know, for all my different businesses, you know, each business would have like one list. And then from there, I'll use tags to kind of segment that list based on their behavior, based on how they engage with my emails, based on, you know, which videos they're watching, which ones they're not watching. They'll get different tags assigned to them. And then from there, I'll use the tags um, to kind of move them around inside of different automations, move them into different sequences and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to set up a list that you can use for your business and then from there uh, some tags. And but again, you're not limited to that. OK, you can set up as many lists as you want to set up. Um, you know, if they buy a product, maybe you want to have a separate list. You got your core list for your website. And then from there, you want to have a separate list if they actually bought a product. But again, you can do the same thing with tags. Okay. So tags, that's just my preference. Again, you can do it however you want to, but, uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to do both. So, okay. So over here on the left, where do we get to lists and where do we set that stuff up over here on the left? You see where it says my communications, go ahead and give that a click. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up a list. Okay. And typically again, uh, I'm going to have one core list for every website. Okay. So for a website that I have, I might have one core list again, maybe I'll have a second list. You know, if I, if, if for some reason I wanted to have a separate list. Okay. Uh, but again, I like to use tags for that, but to simply set up a list, all you do, you see the little pulsating plus over here. Let's go ahead and give that a click. And you, and here's where you'll name your list. Okay. And this is for your purposes only. And obviously you can name your list, whatever you want. Typically this is where I'll put in the website, um, that people are going to, and they're opting in. Typically I'll name my list that since I use tags for everything else. So in this scenario, let's go ahead and put in alpha automation.net. Okay. And the public description. Okay. So when folks are on your list, okay, they're going to get emails from you and down at the bottom of the list, they'll have the ability or a bottom of the email, excuse me, they'll have the ability to click unsubscribe. And so when they do that, uh, you want to give them a reminder because a lot, a lot of times people will click on subscribe because they don't recognize the email for some reason. Um, and they don't know why they got on this list. They don't know why they're getting these emails. So public description reminds people, you know, where they were or why they signed up for this list. So maybe they opt in to watch your video. Maybe they opt in to download your free lead magnet. Okay. Maybe they're coming from your YouTube channel or coming from your social media presence. So you can remind them, uh, here. So uh, just for example purposes, I could say you downloaded our step-by-step -step Kartra setup guide. Okay. And that way when people, if they chose to unsubscribe, they'd be like, oh yeah, that's why I was on that list. And then they could potentially choose to stay uh, on your list. Okay. But either way, this public description is um, uh, visible uh, to your leads. So, you, you know, uh, I wouldn't just name it the website. I mean, you could, um, but typically you want to describe what action they were taking when they ended up and opted in for this particular list. Okay. And from there, you just go ahead and click next. And just like that guys, just like magic, uh, you have created your first list. Okay. Inside of Kartra. Okay. And so for now, and, and again, we'll get to, you know, importing leads. Okay. You can click here to go back to list to create more lists. If you want to, you can create an opt-in form. Okay. Which we'll do in a separate video for now. I'm going to go ahead and click this X right here. Cause the next thing I want to do is I want to set up a couple of tags. Okay. And so on this little sub menu here, you can see the leads. And as you start generating leads, you know, you'll be able to click that and it'll populate with all of your leads and you'll be able to say, see detailed information about all of your leads. Um, and it's powerful. And I'll, I'll hop onto my, one of my other accounts that I'm actively using uh, in one of my businesses and, and show you uh, all the data that it will show on your leads. And it's really, really, really powerful, which is again, another reason why I love using Kartra compared to using uh, two, three, four, five different programs all wired together uh, using Zapier. Um, the cool thing about Kartra is that when you generate a lead and that, that lead is engaging with your emails, engaging with your videos, engaging with your website, Kartra is going to know. Okay. Kartra is going to see that and you're going to be able to get those deep detailed analytics. So again, it's very powerful. Uh, but for this video, we want to just create a couple of tags. 
And so how you do that, you right over here where it says tags, go ahead and give it a click. Okay, and this would be where you could create tags. And again, the power of using tags is that you can use tags, just like joining lists, you can, you can certainly use a list, um, but tags is a great way to trigger automations, okay, which again, we'll, we'll discuss and we'll set up a couple of sequences in a, um, a future video. Um, but we're gonna set up a couple of tags here. And again, you got the pulsating plus over here, go ahead and give it a click, okay? And so you wanna give your tag a name. So let's say, okay, you're offering uh, like a free download or maybe even an ebook, okay? So let's say you're offering an ebook on your website and they downloaded your ebook. So you wanna tag them that, you know, yes, they made it onto your list, but they also, then, then they took the action of downloading your ebook. So let's create a tag for that. Okay, so we'll put downloaded uh, ebook. Okay, tag description again, and again, this is for your reference only, so you don't have to worry about uh, your lead, uh, you know, seeing this tag, right? Uh, unless you show them inside of your cartridge system, this is really for your benefit. Okay, and you can put the description here. So let's say your ebook had a name, so downloaded our um, automation ebook. Okay. Uh, Let's call it our seven step automation ebook. Okay. And so that way you know specifically, okay, they, and, and you'll be able to see this again inside of your lead analytics that they have this tag. And then if you're eventually you start building out your system, you got all these different tags going on, you'll be able to hover over it and you'll be able to see this description that you put in here. So you know specifically why they have that tag. Um, also, you have the option here to set up a category. And so for each business or for each website, I like to categorize my tags because again, uh, with Kartra, you can uh, have three domains. You can add three custom domains to, to your Kartra account. And so with doing so, uh, I like to have all of my tags that are for one website all grouped together and then have other tags that are attached to different websites grouped together. So let's go ahead and create a category for this. And so I'm gonna click over here where it says create a new category. And I'm just gonna name the category, the website, okay? So basically, this will be for our Alpha Automation website. Okay, and so I'm just gonna name it after the business or after the website, okay, that they landed on and then they got the lead magnet from, okay, or they got the ebook from in this scenario. So I'm just gonna categorize my tags with the same. So kind of like how I named the list, okay, the website, I'm gonna name the category of all these different tags the website as well. Again, that's just what I do, just so that way I can keep things nice and organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create here. And just like that, okay, we've set up our first tag that they've downloaded the ebook, okay? And you could create another tag. Like let's say you're offering a free strategy call or something like that on your website. We can go ahead and create another tag so we could uh, put down that they uh, booked a strategy call, okay? And I'm just gonna copy that for the same. And then the category will now be populated here, and I can pop this one in uh, for Elf Automation again, and click Create. And so just like that, we've set up a couple of tags here. Okay, so what, we, what we've done is essentially we've set up our list for Alpha Automation. So for folks that opt in on our Alpha Automation website here, uh, they'll be added to this list and that'll kind of be used as my core list um, for any campaigns that, that I've attached to this particular website. And from there, we've also set up a couple of tags that I can use based on the actions that they take while they're engaging with my emails or engaging with my website. So if they go ahead and down or book a strategy call with me, I can have it set up to where they are tagged with this tag. So that way I, I can see that inside of my CRM. Same thing if they downloaded my ebook, now I can assign this tag to anybody that downloads the ebook and that way the lead will have that tag and it'll be nice and easy. And from there I can then trigger different automations based on this particular tag. 
So hopefully you guys found value in this training and in this step-by-step -step walkthrough. Again, if you're not already using Kartra, it is the most powerful software platform on the planet to run your entire business. And we did hook it up for you guys. We have a $1 14-day trial available. So if you wanna get signed up for Kartra, start using it inside of your business, go ahead and click the link below this video and uh, you can get yourself set up with that trial. And follow along, you know, we're gonna be doing a whole video series here showing you how to set up an entire automated sales funnel using Kartra. So that's all for this one, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through step-by-step -step how to set up your first email sequence inside of Kartra. So uh, what is an email sequence? Well, bottom line is when somebody opts in on your website um, or downloads your free uh, lead magnet, whether it's an ebook um, or a white paper, or whatever you got, uh, your cheat sheet, whatever you got them downloading, um, you're probably gonna wanna continue sending them emails, okay, that are relevant um, to them. And so an email sequence is essentially uh, an automation that you can set up that um, either when they're added to a list or um, there a, a certain tag is applied to them you can have them go into kind of like a this the step-by-step -step sequence of different emails uh, that can go out to them so it's very powerful and this is where again you start getting into some of that automation you're, you're again you're online you're building a business you're wanting to you know generate a bunch of leads here and you're gonna want to continue to email that list so let's walk you through how to set up that sequence here step-by-step -step. So over here on the left, you wanna click where it says My Communications. And this is really where all, this is kinda of like your CRM. This is where, again, if you've seen our previous videos where we show you how to build a list and create tags, um, also the lead section here, this is where, kinda of like your CRM. Over here in Communication, this is your, uh, you just hover your mouse over Communications, and you'll see this is where your, your emails are gonna kinda of take place here. You can send out broadcast emails. So let's say I wanted to send an email to everybody on my list. This is where I would do that and I could set up that email. But what I wanna do is I wanna set up an actual sequence, okay, which is again, a string of emails uh, that will go out to your customers. So let's click sequences. And kind of like it shows right here, this diagram is actually perfect. Um, it shows you, okay, um, and this is where you're really getting into more of automated marketing, automated follow-up. Uh, with your leads and with your customers. You can set up these emails however you want. And based on, you know, again, maybe they opted on your website, maybe they ordered a product, or again, maybe they just joined a certain list uh, that you have out there, and that can be kind of the starting point of your sequence. And within Kartra, you can build as many sequences as you want, so you're not limited to just one big old sequence. You can have as many as you want uh, that are triggered and activated by whatever you want, uh, whether it's a tag, whether it's a list, you know, whatever the case may be. And so let's go ahead and click the pulsating plus over here to the right and I'll just show you and we'll, we'll create a basic sequence here um, that you could use. And so name your sequence. And in our previous video, um, we created a tag uh, for somebody that downloaded our ebook. So for this particular sequence, um, I wanna trigger some emails to go out to somebody after they downloaded our ebook. So let's name the sequence after that, because again, I like things to match, okay? And to make sure it matches, let me just go ahead and duplicate, basically opening up a new tab so I can look at the tag that we created in the previous video. And so, okay, so we just named it, you know, downloaded ebook, you know, just to make it simple. And so I wanna use that same exact name for this particular sequence. That's how I like to keep things organized. This sequence is for those that downloaded that ebook and received that tag. Again, that just allows me to keep everything organized. And as far as uh, public description, again, people can see this description, okay? And it lets you know that right here. Okay, what your users will see, if they want to unsubscribe from the list or from the sequence, okay? So again, when you email them, they're gonna have the option to unsubscribe or update their email preferences. And from there, they can choose to get out of the sequence or they can choose to just get off your list entirely. So again, this is where you wanna describe the sequence. And so here, I'm gonna put you downloaded our ebook. 
Okay, again, just to keep it very, very simple. You'd wanna have it very specific. So again, if you have a specific name for your ebook, go ahead and make sure to put that there so it, it triggers for them or it reminds them exactly how they ended up getting these emails. And if they remember who you are and they remember why they ended up on this list and why they're getting these emails, it increases the likelihood that they stay on your list, which is what we want, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. And this is gonna bring us into the Sequence Builder. And again, we're just going to make an easy sequence here. And if you've used other softwares in the past, whether it's Active Campaign, um, you know, Get Response, Aweber, okay, um, this is very similar to what you may have seen in those. So it's a very powerful tool. And again, the beauty of it is it's all right here. You know, it's all right here inside of Kartra. You know, we got our uh, lists and tags, and you know, assume we're going to put some pages together. Uh, we integrated payments, all these things, and it's all in one spot, so we don't got to jump around and use a bunch of different softwares. Uh, but here we are inside of the sequence builder, and what we want to do is we want to set up a starting rule. Okay, and you don't necessarily have to set up a starting rule, um, but for this video, we're going to set one up, and I'm going to click right here on the plus. And the starting rule is going to be that they had that tag applied to them. So this tag right here where they downloaded our ebook, okay? And so when they get that tag, meaning they downloaded the ebook, I want them to pop in to this sequence. So I'm going to click tag from the list here, okay? And again, you could choose, you know, whatever you want for your start. You know, it could be if they opted in on a form. It could be if they added, got added to a list. It could be if they bought one of your products. It could be if they visited a certain web page of yours. Okay, so as you build your website, and again, once they've been, once they become a lead and they start engaging with your pages, Kartra's gonna know that. So let's say they end up on a certain page on your website and you wanna trigger a sequence for anybody that, that just lands on a certain page, you can do that if they're one of your leads. Okay, um, and you could have a different sequence or different automation. So there's all kinds of ways they could get into the sequence. Again, we're gonna use the tag, and we set up a category here on elfautomation.net, and our tag is gonna be downloaded the ebook. Okay, so anybody that gets this tag applied to them, and I click add, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And so now anybody that gets that tag applied is gonna get dropped into the sequence, okay? But right now there's nothing here. Over on the left is where you are going to kind of set up what happens when they enter the sequence. And so you do have the ability to send SMS, so you can send a text message to them if you want to. We're just gonna send an email. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll just click and I'm gonna drag this over. See how it grabs a block, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna drag it over here. And it's gonna basically open up an email builder, okay? So when they opt into this, I want them to receive an email, okay? And if they are downloading something from you, perhaps, you know, maybe you want to send them an email right away. Maybe you want it to wait a little bit. And the cool thing about the builder here is it really walks you through all that step by step so you can be very, very clear and specific and make sure this thing is set up properly right from, right from Jump Street, right from the get-go. Okay, so let's say you want them to get this email immediately. Well, you would just check mark right here. So after the previous step, which is they got added to the sequence, I want this email to go out right away. If I wanted it to wait, I would just click here and I could put, have it wait for a day, two days, five days, 10 days, right? Uh, I could have it wait for a certain amount of hours. You know, maybe uh, six hours is very common. So, um, you know, I use six hours, like let's say they opted in on a webinar or something like that. And, you know, I wanna give them maybe four or six hours before the email sequence will start up. But in this scenario, we're just gonna put right after the first step just to keep it simple. And then we're just gonna follow the rest of this builder. So I'm gonna click next. You know, here, which days uh, do you want this email to go out? We're gonna leave all those checked seven days a week. If they get that tag applied, I want this to uh, trigger right away for them. And then also any time of day. So it, it's not gonna wait, okay? If I wanted it to wait, like let's say I only wanted this email to go out at 7 a.m., right? I would click down here and I can put the, the exact time, you know, that I want this email to go out. So I can put 7 a.m. right here. And so it'll, th this email will only go out during this particular time window and you can set the time zone here as well, okay? But for now, we're just gonna leave this at any time of day just to keep it simple. We'll click next. Name of the broadcast. So this is where you're gonna name the email that we're gonna send out to them. So we're just gonna put downloaded ebook 
uh, follow up email one, number one, okay? And since we're gonna add a few, then subsequent emails will be number two, number three, number four, again, just to keep it very simple. We'll click next. Now, Gateway, uh, the cool thing about Kartra is this is where it has, uh, Kartra has a very high deliverability rate with their email system. So it's a very, uh, very reputable source to send your emails from. And so all you really need to set up here is you put your sender name. So it could either be your name, it could be your business. Okay, typically it's gonna be your name. And then you could put your from email. Now they do have, okay, you do have your, your Kartra mail. So you could use, you know, like, like for mine, my username is Elf Automation on this account. So I could send from this particular email, but what most people will do is this is where you're gonna wanna use your custom email. Uh, typically you're gonna have, if you got a business and you have your own website, you're gonna have a custom uh, domain that you're emailing from. So for me, I'm gonna send my email from Mike at Alpha alphaautomation.net, okay? And then, my, and then I'm gonna copy that. And then my reply to email is gonna be the same, okay? So when they get the email, it'll show that it's from this. And then if they reply to, to that email, I want it to go here, okay? I'll click next. So in recipients, this is where you decide who is gonna receive this email. And for our purposes here, I'm just gonna leave it as, you know, anybody reaching this step, I'd like them to receive this email. But in the future, right, as you get a little bit more advanced, like let's say you have somebody that, you know, is already a little bit further in your funnel, or maybe the point of this email sequence is to, yeah, you downloaded the ebook, but I'd like for you to book a strategy call, okay? If they've already booked a strategy call with you and then for some reason end up back into the sequence, maybe you don't want them to receive this email. Okay, and so this is where you could set that up. Um, let's say, you know, you wanna put this right here. So anyone that does not have a tag, okay, and we had set up the tag under alphamautomation.net, we had set up the tag, booked a strategy call. So as long as they do not have this tag, I want them to get this email. So you, you could put some rules in here to make sure that people aren't, um, you know, getting emails that you don't want them to receive. But again, for our purposes here, just to keep it simple, I'm gonna put anybody reaching this step, I'd like for them to get this email. And now for those of you guys that are doing business, you know, internationally, okay, or, or over in Europe specifically, um, there's the GDPR notice. I wanna make sure um, that they have, that I wanna get this checked, right? Um, now, if you're doing business over in Europe, you know, there's specific website disclaimers that you need to have on your page that to make your page uh, GDPR compliant. And all of that is available right here inside of Kartra to make your pages GDPR compliant so that way you're good to go. However, let's say, again, for some reason, you're sending this off to folks that maybe they just downloaded an ebook um, and they didn't um, agree to receive emails from you. Okay, and, and for that purpose, it wouldn't be GDPR compliant, but you still want them to get this. Okay, let's say you know for sure they're not over in Europe. Let's say they're here in the United States and you want them to make sure that they get this email, make sure to check mark this. Okay, because if somebody has not opted in on a GDPR compliant page, Kartra is gonna know that. And if you don't have that check marked, they will not receive this email. Okay, so we want all of your leads, anyone that's receiving, uh, anyone that reaches the step to get this email, so make sure you check mark this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click add. Okay, and from there, that's the only rule I wanna set up, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And this is where you have the ability to either set up a single email here or go ahead and do a split test. Again, to keep it simple, we're gonna just use a single email here and click next. And on this next step, this is where we're gonna go ahead and set up the actual email, okay? And fantastic uh, email building tool um, that Kartra has. Um, there's a lot of great templates. You can certainly use a basic email format. So let's say you just wanted to use like a text uh, only uh, type email, you would leave it as basic, okay? Otherwise you can click advanced right here and there's all kinds of templates that you can use. So let's, let's use a template just to kind of pretty this thing up a little bit. And you'll see that there's some full templates here, but it's got a nice, easy drag and drop builder before we add a template. 
Um, there's all kinds of different um, things that you can add. You simply just drag and drop. Like if you wanted a headline, you could pick one of these easy templates here and you just kind of drag it onto your email and then you, you change the text, okay, as, as you see fit. Okay, but for our purposes, I'm just gonna use an easy template here. So I'm gonna scroll back up here to the top and use a full template for this. And there's several um, nice and easy full templates that you can use. We're gonna use this one right here, nice and easy. And I'll just drag this whole template into my email here. And as you can see, now there's this whole email here that I can simply just re, you know, change the text to fit whatever I want this email to say, right? So, you know, starting at the top, you add your subject line, you know, hey, thanks for downloading our ebook. Okay. And now inside of the email, you know, you could very easily uh, go in here and customize this email as you see fit. You know, you can add a logo here. Okay. You could just click the little um, pencil and that's where you can actually edit the, the piece and you can upload your image. You can have it clickable to whatever website you want. Okay. Um, for now, we're just going to leave that out. Okay. And if you want to get rid of a section, you just click the little X up here and you just get rid of it all together. Okay. Uh, here, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. No, no, no. Let's leave that in there. Okay. Um, and again, you can just customize this email as you see fit. Okay. And so let's say I just wanted to make some changes here. So perhaps I think what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this. And notice, you see the pink, right? I want to just delete this piece of it, right? If I click this blue one, it's going to get rid of the whole section. I don't want to do that. Let me go ahead and just get rid of this right here. Oop, right there. And one more time. Notice it gave me three of them. So I'm fine with just one here. And let's say I had a nice easy picture of my ebook. You know, I would go ahead and change this to upload that image right there so that way they can see the book that they downloaded. And again, I could put some change the text right here. Okay, so let me click right here. And I can change this text. Okay, thank you again. Our ebook. Okay, and I'm just giving this a click and then changes are here. I hope Hope it helps you grow your business Okay, and obviously I'd put a little bit more in here to be more specific, you know, uh, maybe re-highlight the features that were um, or re-highlight the things that they've learned inside of your ebook. You know, you can even put a link in here to remind them like, hey, if you haven't already downloaded the ebook, you know, click here to go ahead and download it. So I could just put that in here, you know, oh, actually I'll put it up here. If by chance you haven't downloaded or downloaded the book, you can do so by clicking here okay and then from there i would just add the hyperlink okay i would just highlight that right there and then click the little link right here and i can add that um and i believe we can actually um this is where you'd add the hyperlink and then you know you can kind of finish off your email however you want okay um let's say i just wanted to invite them and you know i might even just get rid of this section right here let me just close that Okay, and I'll keep it here in the white. And so, and to finish off the email, you know, you, let's say you want to encourage them to kind of take that next step. You know, if you need more help with your business, feel free to book a free strategy call with us by clicking here. Okay or by clicking, I'll say the button below. Have a great day. Okay. And then from there, uh, it already gave us a button here so I could customize the button by clicking um, the uh, pencil and you can change it. Uh, click here 
to book your strategy call. Okay, and obviously you can name this whatever you want, right? Okay, and then from there you would just put the link um, um, where they would be able to go ahead and book the call, right? So whatever that link is, you could just pop that in right there. And then that will be clickable. Uh, from there you could change this to suit, so it's still 2019 right here. And you'd as well be able to go ahead and set up your, oh, we got Grammarly coming up on there. Uh, from here, uh, you'd be able to go ahead and update all of these little social media icons. So again, if you're online and you want them to be able to connect with you, um, you can put your links in there, okay? And um, from there, you're good to go. Again, just a basic email, just a basic thank you email for downloading our ebook, okay? And you can save this, like once you have it done, you could save this as a template. So you can create your own templates okay um, for future use okay for future um, lists different things like that you can make your own templates um, but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and click next up here so you're gonna check the spam score so again um, you know it's the cool thing about Kartra is it's going to check to make sure that your email doesn't seem too spammy. If you're using uh, too much um, language in there, like make a million dollars in 90 days or things like that, it's going to raise the spam score. And so um, if, if you do have a spammy email, it's going to let you know that. And that way you can correct the text um, before you start sending it out. Okay. The last step is to add any automations that you'd like to add to the email. So what is that, okay? Automations are all kinds of different, or if this, then that triggers that you can add to the email. So one thing that a lot of people like to do as you get more advanced, you may wanna do what's called lead scoring, where you want to uh, really know who your best leads are based on how much engagement they're, you know, based on uh, how well they're engaging with your emails and with your list. And so to do that, uh, what I could do is I could easily, and let's say I just wanna give them some points. So let's say if a lead opens this email, okay, then, and again, you can either subscribe them to a list, you can add a tag, you can have them uh, join a different sequence if you want to, you can unsubscribe them from a sequence, okay? Uh, I'm gonna give them points, okay? And let's say I want to give them 10 points, you know, if they open the email. And so I'll click add, right here and then I'll click add right here so I just set up a basic automation so if somebody opens the email then they're gonna get 10 points okay I could even add another rule like let's say they open the email and then they also click the link inside of that email I could set that up okay so if a lead or I'm sorry let me save this one and so now that automation has been set up and I could set up as many automations as I want. I could create another automation if they click a link inside of the email, they get points. And again, when you're looking inside of your CRM at your leads, you'll be able to see how many points they have. And so that way you'll know how engaged of a lead they are um, based on their, their opening your emails, they're clicking your links. And obviously the more engagement people are doing with your emails, the stronger and better the lead is for you and your business. But for now, to keep it simple, we'll just leave that as the only automation. So if somebody opens this email, that lead will get 10 points. And then we'll go ahead and click Create. Okay, and just like that, we've set up the first email in this sequence. You can see that it's still inactive. Hover over the three dots and activate the email. Okay, make sure you do that. And then, um, so now somebody comes in, they're not gonna just jump to this. You see this little half circle below the starting rules? I need to click here and drag a line to the half circle on top of the email I want them to go to. So this is how you kind of organize the order of things. And so when they opt in, it's gonna bring them right to this email right here, okay? And now let's say, to kind of carry on with the sequence, now I want it to wait. You know, I don't wanna just email, email, email. Maybe I want it to wait two days or one day before I email them again. So let's go ahead and add a wait feature in here. I can click this wait and drag it onto our board here. So how long do I want it to wait before it activates the next step? And let's say I want this to wait for let's say two days. Okay, so I'm just gonna label it as two days and I'm gonna click create. And from there, you can see that the wait has now been set up on our sequence. You wanna make sure to activate it. And then from there, draw your line from this email to this wait block, okay? 
This right here is kind of cool. Uh, you can arrange the items to kind of organize it because it was kind of getting a little janky. And so now you got a nice straight line here. Okay, if you wanted to, you could look at this from left to right. If you prefer that, I like it going from top to bottom, okay? But either way, now I could continue this sequence. So let's say I wanted to add another email to it. I would just drag another email onto the board. If I wanted that email to be similar to um, the one, like let's say I created a nice template in my first email and I wanna use that same kind of template, okay? Um, I could just simply clone this email right here and it's gonna give me another email that's exactly the same. And then from there I can customize that email to be a little bit different. And then from there I could add that below and just kind of keep going on with the sequence. Um, you can also use um, a split right here. So let me drag the split out here. And so a split, really that's just um, based on their actions, okay? What do you want to have happen, okay? So let's say after the two day wait, before, okay, they get the next email, which we'll populate here in a second. Let's say I wanna split the condition. Like let's say they booked a call with me. You know, I may not want them to get the next email because the next email is probably just gonna encourage them to, to book a strategy call with me since they've already downloaded our ebook. So I can put a, a condition in here that either if, if they booked a call, they will not get this email. If they haven't booked a call, then I want them to get this email encouraging them to book a call. So let's split the condition here and I'll select here. And so if they do not have the tag, right? Cause it, and we, we had set it up back here, uh, this booked a strategy call tag. So if they book a call with me, they'll get this tag, okay? So if they do not have that tag, I want them to kind of carry on with this sequence. So if they do not have the tag, and let's put it in there, Elf Automation, for the category, and then do not have booked strategy call tag, okay? And this is where it's gonna kinda give me a yes, no. And now I'm gonna click Create. Okay, and so here's our split, okay? And I'm gonna draw this line to connect them, okay? Again, so if they do not have the tag, I want it to keep going. So if it's true that they do not have that tag, that's where I'd wanna put the email, okay? So I can drag another email out here, okay? And actually, instead of building a whole other email, I'm just going to, let me close this. Okay, I'm not gonna create a whole new email. Let me just grab this and clone this one right here. Okay, even though, I don't, now again, I wouldn't want to just send them uh, the verbatim exact same email, but uh, just for to make this simple for our purposes here, this is where I'd want to put the next email. So if they do not, if they have not, if it's true that they do not have the tag booked a strategy call, then I want them to get the next email, okay? But let's say they did book a strategy call, well then I don't want them to get this email. Okay, so if it's false, okay, that they that, and they actually do have the tag, then I want to go ahead and complete automation. You know, maybe I want that to be the end. Uh, I could set up a whole different email. Okay, so let's say they booked a call. You know, and, and the bottom line is if they booked a call, what I'd do is I would set up a whole new sequence uh, that they would pop into if they booked a call using some reminders and things like that to prepare them for the call, okay? Using some indoctrination, things like that. Maybe you have testimonials or success stories you'd like to email them. So you would set up a whole new sequence for those that booked a call with you that you would pop those leads into, okay? But let me activate this, okay? And activate this one over here as well, just so we can kind of complete this little build out here. Okay, and again, I would change this email. Okay, and let me just, you know, just for our purposes, so you can see that it's a, it's a different email than uh, what we did up here before, even though we cloned it. Okay, uh, you would wanna go through and, and adjust everything, but I'm gonna just label it. I'm gonna change the name of it here um, just to follow up email number two, where we're gonna take kind of a further step to try to get them to book a strategy call with you. Okay, but again, if they've already done it, we don't want them to receive this email encouraging them to book a call with you. Cause again, that would be redundant and people would be like, well, wait a second, I already booked a call. Why is he sending me this email? Okay, so the split feature is very, very cool uh, cause it allows you to email them based on their behaviors or based on whatever it is that they're doing as they engage with your emails and engage with your website, okay? 
But if they did already book a call, then I would want to go ahead and unsubscribe them from the sequence. So here's an unsubscribe thing here. I'm going to add that in because they don't need to be inside of the sequence anymore. I mean, you can have it complete, but they'll still be sitting over here. I want to go ahead and unsubscribe them from the sequence. And you can choose between subscribe or unsubscribe. Okay. And I would just unsubscribe them from the sequence that they're in right here, which is downloaded ebook. Click create. Go ahead and activate this. And then make sure I got my connection here. And then make sure I got my connection here. So everything's all wired and lined up correctly. I'm going to organize it so that we can see that we got things lined up correctly. And so again, how then we'll go right back to the top. So how this sequence would work is that if somebody received the tag, downloaded our ebook, they would come into the sequence. Immediately after coming into the sequence, they would get this email here. Then it's going to wait two days, okay? And then we put this nice split in here. And let me just click it so we can review what the split was. And what we're talking about is, did they take that next step? And for us, the next step is we're wanting them to book a strategy call with you, okay? And so if they, if they do not have that tag for booking a call with you, we want them to go down the true path. So it's true that they don't have that tag yet. So we want to go down the true path and email them again, encouraging them to book the call with you. But again, if they did book a call and they received that tag, then it's going to say, well, it's false. They actually do have the tag. Then it's going to go ahead and unsubscribe them from this sequence and it's going to mark them as complete and they've completed this sequence. Okay, so again, I can make this and I can keep going on and on and on with this. You know, if I wanted to add another, you know, two day wait here, I could add another wait below this right here. And then I could add another split, uh, very similar to what we did here. And I can keep this sequence going on and on as, as long as I want. Typically, you're going to want to have, you know, maybe two to four emails um, in each sequence. But again, you can certainly make longer and bigger sequences. You can actually make sequences of sequences. Uh, you know, for those of you guys that want to uh, create what's called like a never ending list where you're always gonna be following up with your leads, which I'd uh, certainly encourage you to do. Once you have them on your list, you wanna stay in communication with them. But we'll talk about that in future videos. Uh, but either way, here's a basic little email sequence. And I'm gonna go ahead and click done and exit to save it. And here we go, here is our downloaded ebook sequence, all done and ready to go. So that's it on this video, guys, and hopefully you got value out of this training and the step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to set up an email sequence inside of Kartra. Again, if you don't have Kartra, there will be a link below this video. We hooked it up to where you can get a $1, 14-day trial of Kartra. So if you wanna try to use the software for yourself, you can follow along with this video series. We're gonna walk you through how to set up an entire automated, sale, automated sales funnel using Kartra. But that's it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Alpha Automation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to quickly and easily set up a, a squeeze page uh, that you can utilize inside of your business. So, and it's very, very simple inside of Kartra. And over here on the left, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click My Pages, okay? And this video is a continuation of a video series uh, that we've created to literally walk you through step-by-step -step on how to build out an entire automated sales funnel. We're, we're showing you how to build everything out and how to wire it all together. And again, the beauty of this is that it's all done here inside of the Kartra platform. It's all done in one place. Uh, for many years, I was running my business online and I had you know, four or five, I believe I was running seven different tools all at once uh, to actually build out an automated uh, workflow, an automated system for my business and the beauty of Kartra is that you can do everything for your business all in one place so again uh, there'll be links below this video highlighting all the different uh, training videos that we put together to show you how to fully build out your automated system in this video we're showing you how to set up your page
pages, okay? And again, if you don't already have Kartra, there'll be a link below this video where you can, uh, we hooked it up to where you get a $1 14-day trial of Kartra. So if you wanted to follow along uh, with the videos to build all your own automated system, you could certainly do that. Again, there'll be a link right below the video. But here we go, guys. Let's show you how to create a couple of pages here. And what we've done is we've clicked My Pages over here on the left. And you'll see, uh, again, this it's got a very nice and easy uh, drag and drop builder. So if you've been using programs like Lead Pages or like ClickFunnels, maybe you've used Builderall uh, or other, other website builders, a lot of them are now drag and drop, so they're very simple and easy. Kartra is, is very similar, but again, it's a little bit more powerful because of the fact that it's all integrated in one place. So let's build out a couple of pages here. Uh, over on the right, you see the Pulsating Plus. Let's go ahead and click that. And again, if you've seen our other videos, uh, we've created some lists, we've created some tags, things like that. And so based on that is how we're gonna choose the page that we're gonna build out here. But you can certainly start with a blank canvas. So again, whatever kind of page, page you wanna build, um, you can literally just click Launch Builder. And from there, you can build an entire page from scratch. Again, very easy, very drag and drop. But there's also a ton of templates that Kartra already has you know, pre-done for you. You can see all of them on the left here, squeeze pages, video sales pages, thank you pages, long sales pages, coming soon pages, all the way down the list here. Okay, membership login pages, affiliate pages, okay, your legal pages, right? So you got your uh, privacy policy terms and condition pages. You know, so if you're gonna go ahead and build out an entire website, you could use those templates. So again, there, there's all kinds of templates for you. Uh, we're gonna build an easy squeeze page and we're also gonna build a thank you page, okay? And so let's go ahead and take a look at the squeeze page templates that we have. And if you're, and again, in our previous videos, we've talked about an ebook, right? That we are gonna give to people. Um, and again, cause you may, if you're looking to generate leads and build a list, you're gonna wanna give them something in return, which is called a lead magnet. Give them something in return for their email address. So that way you can go ahead and continue to email them uh, different offers for your products and for your services. And so let's look for a squeeze page that might work for our lead magnet. So and again, scrolling down, there's all kinds of great templates here. You know, this one, you know, and again, you can click preview here to kind of take a look. This one kind of grab your spot. So it looks like it's for a webinar. There's a little timer on there and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's not really right for us. There's straight up uh, opt-in here. This one looks more like a bridge page. Okay, so let's say you're doing like an affiliate program or something like that. You could have an opt-in on a page like this and then go to the affiliate offer, okay? So it's video pages. And I'm looking at, you know, this one right here might be the one that we like because this one actually says get the uh, get the ebook free today. So let's scroll up and look at this page right here. And so it's got this page already essentially pre-done for us that we can use to give away our ebook. So let's go ahead and use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click select on it. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click launch builder, okay? And now let's name the page, okay? So um, let's name this so we can um, download free ebook okay and again you can name it whatever you want uh, the category and again we do have some categories set up here now when we're talking about pages you could set up um, there's a couple things you can do you could set up a category for your pages and you could also select a site okay which is another way to organize all the different pages that might be attached to a particular website so for our purposes now, we're not gonna worry about setting up a category for this, so I'll just put no particular category. And for the site, I'll put no site in particular. Okay, as we get to the point where we've embedded a custom domain and we're using one particular website, and perhaps you know you want this download page attached to your, to your, to your website, you know, you could do that. And again, when you have all your pages set up, it's an easy way to organize all your pages that are attached to a specific domain, but we're not gonna worry about that just yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna put no category in particular, no site in particular for now. Let's go ahead and click create. And it's gonna load up the page builder. And it's gonna load up that template that we just took a look at. Okay, so here's our template. And this, again, the beauty of this is look at, look at this. This thing is already basically set up for us. Um, all we need to do is come through here and change the text and set everything up. 
So, you know, again, again, this, and again, it's very simple, very drag and drop. You know, there's all kinds of different sections and components that you can add to this if you are building from scratch, okay? Uh, but again, with this template, we don't necessarily need to do a, a ton, except for just adjust the text that's on the page. So we can adjust this here, you know, uh, you know mm -hmm. download our free ebook to help you grow your business. Okay, I'll just delete all that out of there. Okay. And then you can put a couple of the different things that they're gonna learn. Oop, I didn't mean to copy that, so I can click undo. Okay. And so what I wanted to do is just change the text in this little section right here. Okay, so you can edit the style here, you can edit the text here. And you know, you can put in here the things that they're gonna learn in the book. So let's say they're gonna learn about, you know, how to gen lead generation, okay? And then from there you could describe, you know, how, what is it, what is it they're gonna learn? So learn how to generate leads using social media, okay, if that's the case. Um, you could put, you know, you could put in here, you know, quali uh, qualifying customers, you know, and again, this is, you know, you're just kind of describing what they're going to get out of the book or out of the free download. So, you know, learn how to properly screen your customers. and book more strategy calls, okay? You can learn our process, learn our four-step process, right? <laughs> to get more booked to keep, I'll just make it simple, to keep your calendar full, okay? Okay, so again, just short and sweet. And now, again, there's got a little, it looks like they're holding like a little tablet right here. I could go ahead and click this, and let's say, I'm gonna hover the mouse right here because I just wanna change the, um, again, you can edit the style, okay? So I can click this little pencil right here and I could uh, edit the effect here, uh, I could have this you know, move and things like that. I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to click and edit this right here. And this would be where I could replace the picture. So again, let's say you had a picture of your ebook or a picture of you know, whatever, whatever it is you want to use. Um, you can come into there, you can click image right here, and you could edit that image and pop a picture in there. Okay, so I could just, you know, just for an example, I'll grab a book, okay, hit enter. And okay, so we'll just use one of these. Again, you'd want to use the picture of your ebook or, or the cover of your ebook, but I'll just add it here just to show you how we can easily change it. Select it and then click confirm. Over here, click apply. And you can see that it added that to the page, right? So again, you'd want it to actually be a picture of whatever it is they're downloading, okay? And then from there, the rest of the page is essentially set up. You know, you got your um, header here uh, to get their attention to click the button here to download okay and then you could put a couple testimonials here if you wanted to okay for now let's go ahead and get rid of these if I wanted to get rid of them I could just click these X right here click the X right here okay and again I like those okay so again if you had testimonials um, people that have downloaded your book in the past or those that have worked with you in the past you could again put their info in there and then from there, change this text accordingly. Down here, you wanna change, put your company name in there or your website, all rights reserved, have all that straightened out. Um, from here, the button, okay? So how do they actually download your ebook? You click this right here and you see where it says edit style, click the pencil there. And this is where you can choose what happens when they click this button, okay? So perhaps, and again, you could change the text, you know, download now, you could change the icon. You see the little icon it's got over here. There's a bunch of different choices you can have. And then there's a link right here. And this is where you would choose, you know, what you want to have happen when they click that button. So perhaps you want them to go ahead and opt in. 
so you can have it populate or pop up an opt-in form that they could use. They fill out the form and then they go to what's called a thank you page to download your ebook. So for now, okay, because we haven't created the form yet, so we'll have to come back and add a form here if we wanted to do that. Um, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this as none for now. We're gonna come back and we're gonna tweak this once we've created our form. So I'm just gonna click apply and leave that as is for now. We'll come back to this. So that way we can, when we get to the point where we're kind of wiring everything together. Okay, but we built this page out. Okay, good enough for now. Over here where it says actions, I'm gonna click the arrow and I'll save my progress just in case I lag out or something happens. Okay. And then from there, I'm gonna click that again. I'm gonna click publish live to make this page live and, and available for somebody to land on, okay? Again, if you don't publish it live, then the page isn't actually out there on the internet for someone to gain access to. Now, and right here, okay, I can click where it says get the page link. And this is where it'll give me, you know, the page link. Right? If I had a custom domain set up, like let's say I've embedded a custom domain, let's say alphaautomation.net, you know, this is where I'd be able to go ahead and change that link, but we haven't yet uploaded a custom domain. Again, we'll cover that in another training video, a separate training video. But for now, this link would get them to this page, okay? And I'll click close, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click return to dashboard. Okay, we've already saved everything, so I can go ahead and exit to the dashboard and we'll see that this page is now here so we now have this page but we also need a download page since we're giving them an ebook you know we want them if we want an opt-in form we'll eventually need to create an opt-in form that they can put in their name and email but we're also going to need a thank you page or for them to be able to get your download so let's go ahead and make a thank you page let's click the plus over here again And let's create a thank you page. So let's select template. Let's go to thank you pages. And then let's find a nice template here for our ebook. And again, there's all kinds of different templates. You know, you could have a template where, you know, you got a video on there and then you could give them instructions. You could put the button right here to download it. So we could use a template like this, where like, let's say you wanted to have a video that says, hey, thanks for downloading our ebook. It's really gonna help you do this and that and this and that. And if you're interested, you know, after you download this, review it, use it in your business. And you could, you could give them further instruction if you wanted to. Um, if you want this to just be simply a straight up download page, you know, there's some other templates here that work will work just fine. Okay, so let's, let's grab one that's just really basic, just a download page. And so this one right here looks okay. Let's scroll it up. And it looks like this is a straight up thank you for registering and there's our download for our book. So let's use that. Okay, so let's scroll down here and we're gonna use this one, select. Scroll back up and then click launch builder. And this is gonna be download free ebook. And see how I populated that for me? Thank you page, or I'll put download page. Okay. And we're gonna leave the category blank for now. No particular category, no particular site for now. Once we embed a custom domain, I, 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 again, I like to keep everything all together. Because again, you can make what's called global changes. You know, let me actually just create, I'll show you what I mean. So let's create this page right here. Okay, so here's our template for our thank you page. And again, nice and easy. Okay, so we can set this up. If, again, if you wanna have your logo here, you can. You can click uh, edit style and then you could add your image right there. So if you had a logo, you could add that in there. Uh, for now, I'm actually just gonna hit the X and let's go ahead and get rid of that for now. Okay, and I'm gonna change this text to just say thank you for your interest. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then I'll just put here the instructions. Click a button below to download. Okay. All right, and you could pop your picture in. So again, uh, you want to have things match. You know, the more congruent your uh, thank you page is with your um, landing page, the better. So that way people recognize and they know that they're in the right spot. So if you use a picture on that first page, you want to make sure to use it again here. And so I would just click this little uh, edit here. We can choose the image 
and we use this is the book that we used, okay? And obviously, you'd want it to be a, a picture of the cover of the actual ebook that they're downloading. Go ahead and click apply, and there it is again. And then um, that's it, okay? And then as far as like the download here, okay, once you have the actual PDF or whatever the file is uploaded um, to your Kartra system, you'd be able to go ahead and click the edit style right here. And then you would change the link, okay? So it's not sending them somewhere else. You would have it go ahead and download a file. Okay, and we haven't yet uploaded a file for download, but this is exactly where you'd do it. And once you upload a file, you'd be able to go ahead and select the category, okay? And then you'd go ahead and select your file, okay, which would have its own name. But this is exactly where you'd find it. This is where you'd see it. And then you would go ahead and click apply, okay? But since we haven't uploaded any files yet to this cartridge system, we're gonna leave it as none, we'll click apply. But it'd be just as simple as that. Again, obviously you wanna make sure to set your footer and everything to um, you know, say everything proper in here. And then uh, you'd be good to go with this thank you page. Uh, we can go ahead and click save right here. And then from there, go ahead and click publish live to activate and make this page live, okay? And again, here would be the link to this particular page. If we had a custom domain already set up with here, this is where you'd also edit. You could, um, like let's say I was using alphaautomation.net slash, I can name the page whatever I want. So as you create, add a, embed a custom domain to your cartridge system, this would be where you'd edit uh, the link itself. You would just click right here and then you could edit it, okay? But for now, this is the link that will get them to uh, that particular page. Let me click that. Sorry, this is the link that'll get them to this page. And this will be the page that, you know, let me go ahead and just go back. Okay, now we'll go back to we publish live. So now we'll return to dashboard here. And so in the next step, when we create our form, okay, uh, so when they come to this main page to download your ebook, we're gonna have that button pop a form. And then once they fill out the form, we'll have them uh, be redirected to this thank you page here to actually download your ebook, okay? And another thing, obviously we have this picture congruent, but since I'm using kind of the black strip here, right on this page, I probably wanna go ahead and change this here to again, just add some more congruency to it. Uh, but again, for simplicity, we can kind of leave it as is. You've got your download page, your, your, your landing page, and then from there you got the download page for your free ebook. In the next video, we'll take the next step of uh, setting up the form and then from there integrating the form to kind of connect these pages together okay but that's all for this video guys we'll see you in the next training hey everyone it's mike adams and in this video i'm going to show you how to create an opt-in form inside of kartra that way you can start uh, generating leads and uh, collecting their information so that way you can utilize it inside of your business and simply put to create an opt-in form uh, pretty straightforward over here on the left go ahead and click where it says my forms Okay, and this form here, uh, we're gonna be using, and if you've seen the previous videos in this series, where we're, again, we're walking you through step-by-step step exactly how to build an automated uh, funnel uh, for, your, for your business. And so what we wanna do is we're creating an opt-in form that people are gonna fill out the form to download our ebook, and then from there, they're gonna end up on the ebook download page, okay? So we need to set up a form for them to, so they can fill out their information, so that way we can, we can get that and add that to our CRM. And then from there, uh, they can move forward to that thank you page. And again, if you have not seen any of those videos, let's say this is the first one you're landing on, uh, you know, uh, and you wanna check out those step-by-step -step tutorials, there'll be links uh, below this video showing you exactly how to do everything we've done so far step-by-step. -step. Uh, but to create an opt-in form, all we gotta do is come over here to the Pulsating Plus for forms, and we're gonna name our form. And again, to keep things in line, you know, in previous videos, again, we created a couple of tags that we want to assign to leads. Um, that are taking this particular action. So we're gonna use the download ebook, okay? So we're gonna put that in here as well. Downloaded ebook, okay? And I'm gonna click create. 
So that'll be the name of our form. And you know, and as you you know build your business, you might have multiple different eBooks. You might have multiple different uh, lead magnets that you're using. So you'd probably want to use the name of the particular download there. But for our purposes here, you know, we don't have a ton of products and everything all set up just quite yet. So uh, you know, we could just put downloaded eBook as the name of this particular form. Um, or you can even use the the website link, right? Uh, which page it's actually on. You could use that as well for the form. Um, but here's the basic form builder. And again, we're gonna go through these steps, step by step. But the first step is to decide what are you gonna ask for on your form? And you know, bottom line is the more information that you ask for, the less likely somebody is to fill it out. So on most forms, this is kind of kind of kind of gonna be the default where you're just asking for a first name and an email address. That's kind of the bare minimum. Um, you know, so you you could go just email, but for me, I always prefer to at least get that first name, just so that way if I send them future emails or as I send them future emails, I know their first name. So I can actually address the email to them as a person uh, versus just Here's the email, right? So first name, email, typically the standard. Let's go ahead and leave it at that. But if I wanted to add more, you would just add new field. And there's all kinds of uh, existing fields that you could use. If you wanna ask for their middle name, last name, you could ask for their phone number, okay? With or without the country code, their address. So again, depending on whatever it is you're offering, maybe you do wanna collect all that information. You know, if you're selling uh, insurance or something like that, you might want more information uh, from them before you'll consider them a lead. So this would be where you'd program all of that in. Okay, but again, for now, we're gonna keep this one simple, just first name and email. We'll click save right here. And then save and we're gonna go to the next step, okay? Now you have the choice to make your form either single opt-in or double opt-in. With a single opt-in, what that means is that they fill it out, name and email, they click the button, and it's going to immediately move them onto the thank you page. If you use double opt-in, um, this adds an extra step. Um, so depending on whatever, whatever it is you're doing, you may wanna use double opt-in. It does strengthen the quality of your list because what'll happen is they fill out the form, click the button, but before they get the download, they're gonna have to go to their email and look for a confirmation email that'll come from Kartra, and then there's a button in there for them to click to confirm that they actually wanna be on this list. So they're taking that extra step to confirm does make your list a little bit more solid, but again, uh, that that people might forget to do that. You know, and if you really want to get this book in their hands, you may want to go single opt-in. And so, for our purposes, we want to go single opt-in here, and we're going to click save. Okay. From there, it's going to ask you what is the success page, and the success page is also the thank you page, right? Where is it that you want them to land after they go ahead and opt in? And this is where you'd want to enter that information. Certainly, if you had an external page, you could pop that in right here. Or you can click a Kartra page. And if you remember from our previous video where we set up a thank you page for our ebook, okay, we'll be able to select it from this list. So Kartra pages. And we didn't set up a site just yet, so we got no site in particular. And then we could select our Kartra page, which is the download for ebook download page. This is where we want them to go after they fill out this form. So let's select that there and let's click save. And then save and next. Okay, you do have the option now here with the welcome to send out a welcome email. So again, if you wanted to program an email to go out, this would be one spot that you could do it. Um, you could also set up an email sequence uh, that will activate you know, once they fill out this form. Okay, so for now, we're not gonna set up a separate welcome email uh, for the ebook here. So we'll just click save and next. And now this is where you can do some automations, okay? And so, and we did actually set up an email sequence that we're going to um, send to them uh, after they download this ebook. And so this would be where you'd wanna add any tags or add them to any particular list. So when they fill out the form, you can have it assign a tag, you can have it subscribe them to a list. You could even have it uh, subscribe them directly to a sequence. So for our purposes, we are going to assign a tag Okay, and if you're, and again, in a previous video, we created a couple of tags for this. So I'm gonna click yes, assign a tag. Um, we got a tag category here. And then we're going to assign the downloaded and ebook tag. So that way they receive this tag, right? And if you remember, we, in a previous video, again, we set up an email sequence that would be activated when they receive this tag. So when they fill out the form, I want them to go into that email sequence. The tag is what's gonna do it. 
but then I also want to have them on my primary email list. Okay, so let's yes, subscribe them to a list and we have our alpha automation list since that's the page that they're on or the business uh, that's giving away the lead magnet. Okay, and so that would be the primary list for that particular business and I'm gonna click save. So when somebody fills out this form, they're gonna be added to that list and they're also gonna receive this tag which is going to activate that particular email sequence that we set up. So let's go ahead and click save and next. The next step is the form design. Since we're gonna be hosting this form on a culture page, we don't have to do anything here, so we can go ahead and click save. Okay, and then save and next. And now we are good to go. Okay, so our form is now ready to go. So let's go ahead and add this form to the page. So over here on the left, go back to my pages. And here are the two pages that we set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the page here where we wanna add the form. Okay, and I'm gonna click edit, click dots, click edit. And then we are going to edit the page. And it's gonna load up our landing page for the uh, free ebook. Okay, so here's our landing page. And now what we wanna do is we want to change what happens when they click this button. Okay, so we're gonna hover the mouse over the button, click the uh, pencil here, and this is gonna load up all the different options that we can use for this button. So again, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Okay, we're gonna click where it says link over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this load up, or it's gonna pop an opt-in form. Okay, now that we've created a form, we can go ahead and add that here. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So here you can pick out one of the designs that are available. We're just gonna pick out a simple one right here. We'll just grab this one and we'll drag it on here. So here's what the form will look like. And notice how it says placeholder in here, okay? Because you're gonna click this little pencil here and the form that we already created, that's gonna select uh, that we want their name and email, we're gonna click um, here where it says select opt-in form and we have our downloaded ebook form that we just created that we want there. So you, you select the form that you want, you click apply. So we don't have to actually do anything to this part of it, okay? But we do want to adjust the text that's here, okay? So we can change this to, actually, let's go like this, just again, just to make it really, really simple. I, I'm gonna get rid of that little icon and I'm gonna change the text to say download, Download our free ebook now. <laughs> okay, and then uh, we're gonna edit here. And let's say fill out the form below to gain instant access. Okay, just like that. Okay, and now for the button, you see how it says sign up? You can change what it says on the button right here by clicking uh, the pencil. And then you see where it says button, click that. And right there it says sign up, I'm gonna say, and, and I'm gonna change it and I'm just say give the, okay, give me instant access, right? Go ahead and click apply, and there we go. So this will be the form that pops on the page. So now I can click the X right here, I can click done right here, and then we gotta save it. So up here on actions, go to save progress. And then as well, we're gonna publish live. Okay, and now this page is now completely live. Here's the, here's the link to the page. And I'm gonna copy that and open it up in a new tab here, okay? Let's check it out. So here's our page, you know, live online, okay? And so yada yada, you know, download our free ebook. And then when someone's gonna come down here, they're gonna click the button and you'll see that it's gonna pull up the form. Okay, once they fill out the form, so it already preloaded, you know, my name and my email, and I'll click give me instant access. And then this is going to, just like we wanted it to, the form is going to bring them to the thank you page, just like we set up. Okay, so, so again, it brought us to our thank you page here. And so that's what we wanted. And then from there, you would have your download button right here, um, once you have the file uploaded to Kartra. And let's just make sure everything else worked. Okay, so, cause again, the form, 
Okay, that they filled out. Uh, it did bring us to the correct page, so it did bring us to the uh, proper thank you page, but it was also supposed to add a tag, downloaded ebook, and it was also supposed to add them to a list, right? So let's verify that that happened. Okay, I opted in, so I should be a lead. So let's go ahead and click where it says leads, and I'm back over here in my communication leads. And you can see the mic lead that we just popped in here, and I'm gonna give it a click. And again, this is your CRM. So this is gonna give you all the data of kind of what's going on with that particular lead. And so now it has the downloaded ebook tag right here. And if I click here where it says lists, we can see that it's also added them to this list. So the form worked. And so now, um, here we had set up this email sequence that would be activated when somebody received the download for ebook tag. So I should have received an email uh, based on this tag. Because again, uh, this sequence was activated once somebody was assigned this particular tag. So this first email should have been sent out. Let's go ahead and check my Gmail just to verify it's there. And so here inside of my Gmail, okay, uh, you can see here is the email. Again, and we had set this up in a previous video, but here was the email that we had set up um, to receive. And it looks like I received that email. So the sequence worked. Um, so we're good to go. So hopefully you guys got value in this step-by-step -step and really just kind of showing you the nuts and bolts of how to wire this together to make sure everything works. And again, if you're looking to get started with Kartra, we were able to hook it up to where you get a $1, 14-day trial so you can get started using Kartra. It's a very powerful, powerful tool. And again, it's just so cool to have everything all in one place versus having to integrate and jump from program to program to make everything work. It can all be done right here inside of Kartra. So again, uh, we're showing you in the step-by-step -step series exactly how to set up an entire automated sales funnel. So there's a couple more things that I do want to show you. We want to set up a product. We want to set up a membership website. I'm going to show you how to do that in subsequent videos. Again, if you want to take uh, give, give Kartra a try, click the link below this video. And again, you can get that $1 14-day trial for Kartra. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through how to set up your digital product using Kartra. And really, I just want to show you guys how simple and easy it is to kind of get up and running, um, whether you're selling a course, whether you're selling consulting or some other type of service, how simple and easy it is to kind of get that set up inside of Kartra so that way you can get activated, get online, start accepting payments and, and really just get your business launched um, quickly and easily and really start selling your products and services. And for those of you guys that aren't already using Kartra and you wanna give it a try, uh, there is a link below this video that you can click for a $1 14 day trial to this powerful software. And there'll be additional links below this video as well. We've made an entire training series to literally take you by, ha by the hand and show you step by step how to set up an entire automated sales funnel using Kartra. So if you wanna be able to follow along with those videos, make sure to click the link below this video, sign yourself up for that free trial of Kartra so that way you can follow along and build out your own sales funnel for your business. But in this part of the series, uh, we're gonna show you how to make your digital product. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here and on the left, we go to my products, okay? And I'm already here, so I click it anyway, okay? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and click the pulsating product uh, plus over here. And we're gonna start creating our product. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to be offering, uh, and again, this is just a test product. So we're gonna name this test consulting, okay? So let's say you're a consultant, you're offering consulting packages, okay? And this is gonna be a main product. You have the ability to create what's called an upsell or a downsell product. So let's say they don't buy your main product, but you wanna offer them uh, a downsell. Okay, maybe they do buy your main product and you wanna offer them the ability to add something to their order. So you do have the ability to do that. We'll talk about that in, uh, in future videos. 
So, but for now, we just wanna get started. We're gonna create a test consulting product as a main product that you're gonna to offer to your clients and to your leads. So go ahead and let's click next here. And now there's a series of prompts that we're gonna to follow to essentially create this product. And again, it's all very, very step-by-step -step and very, very simple. Now, again, for our internal name, we're just gonna, and, and you just go down and fill out this form here. So again, we're just calling it Test Consulting. The official name is gonna be Test Consulting Product, okay? And the description of this, okay, and this would be where you describe what the product is. So maybe it's a, you know, a one hour, one hour strategy session with me to help you with your business. Okay, something like that. So depending on, again, whatever it is you're offering, uh, whatever it is you're gonna be talking about on the call, you put that in the description right there. You do have the ability to make it public, okay? Kartra has its own marketplace for those that are creating products inside of Kartra. And you can make this product available to that marketplace so that way they can search it. If somebody was looking for a one-hour strategy session to help uh, with their business, they'd be able to find your product. But again, this is a test product, so we're gonna leave it as keep it private and we're gonna click save. The next part is to select your payment processing. And again, in a previous video, we showed you how to set up your PayPal and get it integrated with Kartra. We also showed you how to set up Stripe and get that integrated with Kartra. So either way, when you're building out your product, you wanna have those steps done first, so that way you don't have to backtrack. Okay, a lot of folks will jump into this, they're like, okay, I wanna build my product first things first. They'll see it as the first thing on the list over here. It's like, all right, I wanna build up my product. But again, you always wanna begin with the end in mind. So in a previous video, and again, that link will be below this video, we showed you exactly how to set up your payment gateways so that way you can start accepting payments using Kartra. But we've already set that up. And let's say we wanna go ahead and use PayPal for this one. And so now you can select the account. Okay, and again, we've already set this up. And then we can click Save. Okay, if I wanted to use my Stripe account, I would click Credit Card here. And then I could select the Stripe logo with my Stripe um, code and I could select that and now they could use Stripe or use a regular credit card without a PayPal account to go ahead and pay. So again, we've already set these up in previous videos. Check those out if you need help step by step. We're gonna go ahead and click save here. We wanna be able to use both, okay? And then we'll go save and next. And now we're gonna get into the pricing. Okay, so again, depending on your product, this is where you'd set up. If, if this is a one-time payment, if this is a recurring payment, if there's installments, okay? And for this, this is just gonna be a one-off you know, consulting session where they're gonna pay one time for one consulting session just to make it simple. Okay, and again, so pricing description. Okay, this is a one-time payment. Okay, and how much are you charging for this one-time payment? We're gonna charge 147, okay, for a consulting, okay? And now again, if this is a, you have, again, you have some flexibility here. If you have like an initial payment, you could have a smaller amount. And then if they're gonna make another payment to you, if it's recurring, then that payment is maybe larger. So maybe it's you know, 149 for the first one, or I'm sorry, 147 for the first one. And then you want you know, 299 you know, for the next payment. You can set that up. So that way, when your lead buys the first one, they get this price. But then when they get the next call, it goes back to the regular price. Okay, so that's what this enable initial payment thing is all about. But again, for our scenario, just to keep it simple, we're just doing a one-off, one-time payment, 147 for this consulting call with you. We're gonna go ahead and click save. Okay, so this is also where you're gonna designate if there's any shipping costs, if there's sales tax, and also if you have a refund policy. And since we're right here, we're talking about a consulting call, there's no shipping to that, you're just gonna get on the phone with them. Uh, if you have to collect sales tax, you could change, you could add that here. And then also you could have a refund policy if you wanna have one. Again, depending on your product, you may want to have a refund policy. If we're talking about consulting calls, well, you know, if they book the call and then you show up for that call, you know, they're paying you for that time block and if you show up, uh, there's not gonna be any refunds for that. So I'd put no refunds if you're offering consulting except for any type of extenuating circumstances, okay? And then we go ahead and click save and next. Okay, this next part is where it's gonna ask for the content. So it's gonna ask you, what is your product's main sales page? 
And this is where you're gonna to wanna to have the page where you're actually describing your product or describing your service already done and made, so that way you can enter that information here. And then also, you're gonna to wanna to have a thank you page set up to where once they go ahead and purchase your product, the page that it's going to send them to after they make the purchase. Okay, and again, we've already built out a couple of pages. We've already built a landing page and a thank you page in a previous video. Again, that link is below this video if you need some help with that step by step. For now, I'm just gonna put in Google, okay? Okay, just so we can uh, proceed and I'll leave the thank you page as Google. But again, you'd wanna have these, again, you know, thinking of having the end in mind, you're gonna to wanna to have these pages set up before you go through the pay, uh, product creation process. Okay, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and save, and I'm gonna save, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and click next. And this is where we're going to talk about the checkout experience, okay? And so you have the ability to use what's called a Kartra hosted checkout page, and this is where Again, it's really, really cool. It's a, it's a page that looks kind of like this right over here. And I, I can click right here and it'll give me an example page. You know, you can put your logo on here. It'll describe your product right here if there's sales tax or so the total amount they're going to pay. And then they can fill in their billing information. So there's a full on page. You can actually have an overlay pop up on your website. So on your page, they click the button and this little overlay pops up. Okay, so they stay on your page or your product page, they click the button to go ahead and buy it, and this little overlay just pops up. So you have that option as well, that's really popular right now. Okay, or you can also embed this into a form, you can add a custom design to it if you're, if you're all fancy, you can do that. Okay, and you can also change the template, change the color of the button, things like that right here, okay? So for now, we're just gonna use a Kartra hosted checkout page. Actually, no, let's leave it on the overlay pop-up. They click the button and this just pops up so you can quickly and easily collect the payment. They don't leave the page or anything. Let's use that. Let's go ahead and click save right here. Okay, now this is where you're also gonna select your checkout page fields. And again, the less, is less is better, right? I mean, you don't if you don't need to collect all this information, don't select it. Um, but mainly, you're going to want to collect their name, their email, and then their country and state. Okay, those are by default. If you want a phone number in there, you can just check mark that right there. Click save. Okay, if you want an express checkout, you could um, have an express checkout experience set up right here. Again, we're going to leave that blank. Also, you could add a tag. Okay, so let's say they clicked this, or one of your leads clicked this, and you wanted to add a tag that they went to buy, but then they didn't buy for some reason, they didn't actually follow through with the process, you could actually set it up right here to where it'll actually tag them, to where it's like, so that way you know, hey, this person clicked on uh, to buy your consulting, but then, they, but then they didn't pull the trigger. And perhaps you wanna set up an email sequence that goes out to that person, encouraging them to go back to the page and then uh, go ahead and follow through with it. This is where you'd set that up. Okay, uh, for now we're gonna leave the checkout language as English. And then here's where you'll set up the mandatory billing agreement. Okay, you do want people to check mark this as becoming part of compliance. And so what this looks like is you do wanna, you're gonna change this to where it says yes to get them to agree. And what it looks like is when they go ahead and click, um, they want to buy it, they have to check mark a little box agreeing to your billing terms. And so you would put those terms in right here. So you could put in like, I agree to the billing terms, okay? And then as they hover over that, you can change it and, and let them know what the terms are, okay? So this is a one-time consulting call for 147 no refunds and I you know again I, I like to be clear with people so no refunds except for except for extenuating circumstances okay and so those would be the billing terms um, and then we can save that let's scroll back up here and save and this would be where you could add a bump offer. And again, we haven't created another product uh, to add as a bump offer, but once you do, and, and if you are in position where, let's say you have consulting, but then you also have a, a course that you might wanna sell, maybe you do wanna use that as a bump offer that they could just add to the cart. Okay, and this would be where you'd add that. For now, we don't have it available, so we're gonna go ahead and click Save and Next. 
Now, this is now post sale. This is where, what is it you want to have happen once they've actually made the purchase? Now, you have the ability to add them to a list. So you could change and you could add a list here. So perhaps you wanna have a list for your paid consulting clients that you wanna add them to. This is where you'd wanna do that. And you know, and again, if you have a main list for your website, you could have that. And you know, they're already gonna be on that list potentially. But if not, you can make sure that they are added to that list here. Okay, and we already set this list up previously. Um, because again, what I like to do for my businesses is for each website or for each business, I'll have one list and then I use tagging for the rest. So let's add a tag here. Okay, so let's click, uh, you know, here's tag your customer. So once they've made the purchase, yes, I would like to tag them. Okay, and at what price point? We only set up one price point for this. Okay. Oh, Elf Automation. And from there, we want to create a new tag. And let's name this tag, you know, paid consulting clients. Okay, so they paid you for a phone call, they paid you for some of your time. Okay, we'll add that to our Alpha Automation little bundle of tags that we've set up. Okay, that's what the categories are all about. And so now we can add that tag. So now, you know, once they've made the purchase, they will receive this new tag. So that way you know that they are a paid consulting client. And then whenever you wanna email them, you could set up a sequence that's then triggered by that tag. So that way you're, you're sending out a different email sequence for people that have actually paid you for your consulting. Okay, and you can have that, now that's done. And then from there, depending on what it is they purchased from you, perhaps it was access to a membership site. And again, you can set up a membership site inside of Kartra, we'll do that in a separate video, okay? But you would be able to give them access to that right here. Perhaps it's a different um, website that you have a membership to that you wanna give them access to, perhaps it's a downloadable file. And perhaps there's no digital product link. You know, maybe there's no product for them to download or anything like that, and they're just gonna be going to, uh, in this situation, we're using one-on-one -on -one consulting, so perhaps they're just going to a page where there's a calendar to where they can book a call with you. So no need for an access page here, so we can click save and leave that. Uh, advanced automations, if you wanted to set up any type of advanced automations, anything to add to your lead scoring. And again, we've talked about lead scoring in other videos where when somebody opens your emails, we wanna give them points. So that way, inside of your CRM, you can see who's got which of your leads have a lot of points. Because the people that are gonna be engaging with your emails, buying your products, buying your services, again, you're gonna wanna treat those leads differently than those that are not engaging with your emails and not buying your products. Okay, so either way, this is where you'd wanna set that up. But for now, we're gonna leave that blank. We're gonna click Save and Next. And then inside of here, for affiliates, if you wanted to have affiliates, or if you do have affiliates for your product, this is where you could set up uh, that particular program. You know, how much you wanna pay your affiliates. Um, are affiliates allowed to sell this program? And if so, how much are you going to pay them? Are they gonna get a percentage? Okay, let me just show you. Okay, let's activate the affiliate program. And this would be where you could set that up. Okay, and you could set up different tiers if you wanted to. You could set it up where they get a percentage of this one-time payment, they get a fixed amount of this one-time payment, okay? And if they have JV brokers selling it, you know, what? how much do they get? So again, if you are wanting to use affiliates, this is where you'd set that up, okay? For now, we're gonna use no affiliate program. Okay, click save. And from there, you know, let's say you wanted to just pay your affiliates based on them opting in, or you had a certain form set up where, you know, if affiliates sends them to your opt-in page, you can actually pay affiliates for having leads simply opt in. And if you wanted that, you could set that up right here. For now, we're gonna leave it as a no, okay? And from there, save and exit. And from there, that's it, okay? So this product is officially set up and so now we have our test consulting product now available and how you would use it. Okay, again, you'd wanna have a page already set up for your product to sell your product. Perhaps you're gonna have like a video page there where you're talking about your consulting and what you do on the call, you know, things like that. You know, whatever your product is. But you would wanna have a product page set up to sell your product. And once you do, okay, and this is one that we used for the uh, free ebook. So let me go ahead and clone this. Okay, and we'll just use this as an example. Okay, so this is the uh, test consulting. Let's 
so test consulting. Okay. And we're just going to use this as a quick uh, example. Okay. And again, so this is the page that we had set up in a previous video for our ebook. And so all you would do is you would change it all, you know, make sure that it's talking about your consulting in this situation. And then from there, how to offer it, how to make it available is you would just put it on the button. So let's click the edit here. Okay. Click the pencil. And from the list, okay, right now, again, this one's going to an ebook. Again, you wanna change it, you wanna configure this to where it's talking about your product. But once you click the button, go over here to link, okay? And instead of it loading up this opt-in form, you're gonna have it pop a product checkout page, okay? And then it's gonna ask you a few questions. So it's gonna say, okay, which product funnel? We're talking about our test consulting. And it's going to ask us which product, and it's going to be our, we only have one product, which is our test consulting, which price point, again, we only set up one price point. Okay, it gives you a lot of options here. And then you have the chance here as well to choose whether you want it to be the overlay uh, pop-up or if you want it to actually go to a full-on checkout page where they leave this page and go to a checkout page. So we're going to use the overlay, and I'm going to click apply, okay? And then what I'm going to do is, again, you would want to change all this to make sure it's talking about your product, talking about your consulting. Uh, but we're just using this as an example just to show you how it works. I'm going to click Save Progress here. Okay, and then I'm going to click Publish Live. Okay, so that way we can test it and see if this button works and brings us to the ability to uh, purchase your consulting. Okay, so here's our page link, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna open up a new tab, I'm gonna stick it here, hit enter. And so again, it's talking about the ebook still, okay, but this is the page that we use to set up our product, and we'll know that when we click this button right here, we're gonna see a secure server, it's gonna load up, load up the overlay, so that way they can go ahead and purchase our consulting, okay? And once they click continue here, it'll bring them to billing to where they can fill in their info to go ahead and make the purchase, okay? They click continue, and now, and like we set up on the product, they have the ability to run a credit card right here using our Stripe account, or if they prefer PayPal, okay, it gives them the ability to use PayPal to pay you, okay? But let's say they wanted to just uh, use their credit card, they'd fill in all their info. And then down here, remember the billing terms that we set up? We wanna make it mandatory. Again, it's becoming a, an issue of compliance on a lot of different um, networks that they agree to your billing terms. That way people are very, very clear on your billing terms before they make the purchase. So I, I like to just use it all the time. And so you know, once they fill out their credit card info, before they can actually click to buy, they gotta check mark this button saying I agree to the billing terms. It, you hover over and it brings up, here's what your terms are. So pretty straightforward. Once they check mark this, now they can actually submit the payment, okay? So everything worked, okay? So we were able to go ahead and set up our product. We were able to add this product to a page and we were able to activate uh, the ability to purchase the product by clicking that button, okay? That was right here. And so everything worked and from there, once the purchase is made, it would then bring them to the thank you page or the success page for your product. And for this scenario, it might just bring them to an online calendar so that way they can book a call with you because we're offering a one-on-one -on -one consulting call here. But again, if you had a product download page or if you had a membership website that they were actually paying for, you would have that page set up inside of your product. So there you go, guys. That is how easy it is to set up a digital product uh, using Kartra. So hopefully you guys found value in this step-by-step -step walkthrough. If you did, make sure to give this video a comment, give it a like below and I will see you in the next video. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Alpha Automation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload files to your Kartra system, so that way you can use those files for free giveaways or lead magnets, or inside of your membership or course websites. And for those of you guys that are using Kartra, you already know how fantastic a tool it is. And one of the cool things about 
Kartra is that it, it's totally all inclusive. It's an all in one software. So that way you don't have to use three or four or five different softwares and try to duct tape them all together to build your system. You can do everything you need to do for your online business inside of Kartra. And if you're not already using it, there is a link below this video that you can use. We hooked it up to where you can get a $1 14 day trial to Kartra. Uh, so that way you can use this powerful tool for yourself inside of your own business. And on top of that, we actually did create a step-by-step -step video series that literally will hold your hand and walk you uh, through it, you know, step-by-step, -step, exactly how to set up your own automated sales funnel, um, complete with pages, um, you know, automation sequences, the whole works. That way you can get it up and running quickly inside of your business. All, all those links will be below this video. Uh, but in this short uh, training, what I wanted to do is just quickly show you how to upload files to your Kartra system. That way, you know, if you had a lead magnet, let's say you had an ebook or something like that that you wanted to give away on your website, you know, how do you get that ebook onto Kartra so that way people can actually download it? So over here on the left, okay, you see where it says my memberships? We're going to give that a click. And this would be the same area that you would use to build out any type of course um, websites or membership websites. Um, so same kind of area that you want to be in for that. And right here in this little sub menu, you see where it says files right here? Go ahead and give that a click. And this is going to be the place where you can upload any files that you want to make available, again, either on your membership websites or um, on your regular website. And, you know, let's say you got a free download or a free giveaway that you want to give to your leads or give to your customers. This is where you're going to bring it. And all you need to do is click the pulsating upload button over here. And it's going to ask you for a category. Again, you can manage your categories um, and, and name them inside of Kartra, you know, just to keep things organized. Uh, for the sake of this training, I'm just going to put no category in particular, but you can, you know, create a category and that way all of your files can be within a certain category. A lot of times if you're running multiple businesses inside of your Kartra account, you may want to set up a category for that business or for that website. That way all of your files can be together for a particular website and separated from another one based on the category. But anyways, for our purpose, we're not going to deal with that right now. And all you'd have to do is click upload file here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an ebook here. Um, and really just a simple ebook that I've used on one of my other websites for one of my other businesses and upload that right here. And really this is all you need to do uh, from there. I'm just going to edit. Uh, the name is exactly what I want it to be because this is the four currencies uh, ebook and then just click the check mark. And then from there, click next. And depending on the size of your file, you know, this really shouldn't take very long. You know, something like an ebook is maybe just a megabyte or two, so it's not gonna take very long at all. So this one was, you know, just a 1.25 megabytes, so not very long at all. And what's cool about this is as people start to download it, uh, this, this will start populating with data. So you'll be able to see, you know, how many people have actually downloaded this particular uh, file. And from there, so how do you use this? Okay, so I uploaded this ebook. And let's say I had a page where I was giving away an ebook, okay, and they're gonna land on the thank you page and they're gonna click a button so that way they can actually download the ebook. So let me go into my pages over here, okay? And we built this page out. Again, this was just an example page that we set up in, again, one of our tutorial videos. And again, those links are below this video. And we were actually given the example of giving away a free ebook. So what I wanna do is I wanna go into that page and set it up, uh, or excuse me, I want to set it up to where people can actually click a button and download the ebook. And so this was the landing page for that. They would opt in on the form and it would shoot them over to this page right here where they could actually download the ebook. So I'm going to go ahead and load this page up, click the three dots, click edit, and then I'm going to click edit here to enter the page builder. Okay, so now that we're here at the ebook, you know, download page, all you need to do, and we have this all set up with a nice little button right here. And again, this is just an example page, uh, you know, for some of my other funnels, we definitely would uh, spruce up the page a little bit more. Uh, the, the image right here would be an actual image of the ebook. So um, you know, we want to do a couple things before this would actually be traffic ready or ready for your leads. But just for the sake of our example here, here's our download button. And so I'm just going to click the uh, pencil right here to edit this button. And over here now where it says link, go ahead and give that a click. And so this is where you're telling the button, you know, what to do when somebody actually clicks. 
And so in this scenario, uh, they've already opted in, so they've already given us their name and email, they've landed on this uh, you know, you know, kind of thank you page, and here's the download page for the ebook. And so now I would like for them to be able to download the file. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click this right here, download a file, and then I'm gonna scroll down, and it's gonna ask what category, we had no particular category for the file, and then scroll down, it's gonna ask me to select the file, and right here is my four currencies ebook that I just uploaded. So I can go ahead and select that, and then I can click apply. Okay. From there, I'm gonna come over here to actions. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, and then let's go ahead and hit the arrow again and then go to publish live to make this page active and live online. Okay, and so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the link to the page and we're gonna test this right now. So we just copy, control C, open a new tab. Let's throw it in here, hit enter. Okay, and so here is, you know, thank you for your interest in our free ebook. I'm gonna scroll down here. And so here's that button. So again, they've already opted in and they fill out the form and now they've landed on this page to claim their ebook, get Instant access to the ebook. And so they would come here, they would click this button and they would just give this a click. And you should see right down here, since I'm on Google Chrome, okay, it just automatically downloaded the PDF. And I would just give it a click to open it up. You know, the file is good to go. This again, this is just a PDF uh, ebook that I've created for one of my other businesses. And uh, from there, they would have access to that file just like that. So again, that's pretty much the step by step there: how to upload a file to your Kartra system, and then how to make it available via a button click on your download page. So again, short and sweet in this training, guys. Hopefully you got value in the step-by-step -step training. And again, if you need help building out your system inside of Kartra, there are links below this video, where again, we walk you through step-by-step -step exactly how to get your business all set up and good to go uh, using Kartra, so that way you can start generating leads and start making money online uh, using this powerful Kartra system. And again, if you're not already using Kartra, make sure to click the link below this video and you can get yourself a $1 14-day trial to test Kartra out. And from there, you can actually follow along with our step-by-step -step video series and actually you know, put this thing to the test. You know, build yourself out an automated uh, you know, funnel, and that way you can see right away, you know, within a couple hours, uh, if this is gonna be the right system for you inside of your business. So again, hopefully you guys found value in this short training. I will see you in the next video. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Elf Automation, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a membership website using Kartra. And I gotta tell you guys, this is one of those features that is gonna save you a ton of money. Uh, for those of you guys that have done the research and looking at other uh, sites where you can you know, host your uh, membership, membership website or host, you know, maybe you have a course or a digital course that you're looking to sell and you're providing value. Well, to host that course on a website like Teachable, um, you know, you're gonna be running anywhere from 70 to $100 per month just for the ability to have a membership website or a course website where you can sell your course. So the great thing about Kartra is that you can build unlimited web, uh, unlimited membership websites inside of Kartra and it's all a part of your plan. So huge savings there, especially for those of you guys that have a digital course. I know I have a couple of digital courses that I'm selling and so this is a very powerful, powerful tool. And again, if you're not already using Kartra, again, I, I cannot emphasize enough how powerful it is. Well, I've said that like 10 times now, but it's powerful. And uh, it just helps you replace so many different so softwares and systems that are required to really build um, a fully automated you know, business and, and really get your business online. So if you're not already using it, uh, click the link. There'll be a link below this video where you can get yourself a $1 14-day trial of Kartra and put this system to the test. Uh, we've even taken the time to put together a step-by-step -step video training series literally showing you uh, from A to Z exactly how to get an automated sales funnel set up so that way you can follow along with that step-by-step -step and you'll be generating leads for your business in no time. So again, those links will all be below the video. Uh, but in this training, guys, I wanna walk you through exactly how to set up a membership website so that way you can utilize it inside of your business right away. And again, this is great if you have a digital course that you're selling, this would be a great platform to host and sell that course as well. 
So over here on the left, you can see where it says my memberships right here. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a click. And what's cool is inside of Kartra, you can, again, you can create a straight up membership website. And then when you end up having multiple membership websites, you can create actually uh, right here on the sub menu, a portal, okay, which is a membership portal for all of your different memberships. So perhaps you've joined other courses in the past where you paid for this course, but you can see that they have another course and another course and another course all available, you know, and, and you can unlock all these different courses, you know, a portal um, is a, you know, really like a one stop or like, a, as it says right here, a centralized portal for all your different membership websites. So you can, you know, as, as eventually, uh, you'll be able to use yourself a membership portal. But for now, I want to walk you through exactly how to set up a membership website. So that way you can get your first one in place. And then as you get rolling, you can uh, get yourself into creating portals for all your different memberships. So here we go on, on the right down here, and we've got the pulsating plus again for our memberships. Go ahead and give that a click and we're gonna name this membership website. So, you know, again, if you have your own digital course or, or digital uh, education uh, learning system that, that you got out there, you can put that name in right here. So for an example, I'm just gonna put this as test membership, uh, test, so test lead generation course. Okay, let's say I got a course teaching people how to generate leads online. And I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And as you can see right here, there's gonna be some steps that we're gonna go through to completely create this, um, create this entire course, you know, or this entire membership website. Uh, the fantastic thing about this is you have the ability to give this away as a free uh, membership course. So if you have free training, uh, if you have a, a team, you know, that you want to have access to your, you know, team training uh, website, you can create it as free or you can create it as a paid product that people pay money and they gain access to your membership site or your course site. So a really powerful tool. Okay, so we'll put our name in here of test lead generation course, okay? And uh, for the description, you know, again, you would put something, you know, what is it that they're gonna learn inside this course? So we are gonna teach you how to generate leads online fast. Okay, that's what everybody wants, right? Uh, from there, uh, you also need to create what's called a promotional sales page. Okay, so this is where you'd wanna have a page already done and already set up that's actually you know, selling the course. Okay, and to do that really quick. Okay, so let's say I'm just gonna open up my pages in a new tab here. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab a quick page. Okay, that we'll use as kind of our test course sales website. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a template here. Okay, and again, that, that's the beauty of Kartra is you can quickly and easy pump out these templates and kind of get yourself uh, rolling, get yourself uh, up and ready. And then from there, you can improve on things as needed. But I'm going to grab a video sales page here. I love using video. Okay, and then from there, we'll just use an easy, simple one. I kind of like this one right over here. Okay, you can preview it if you want to, but we don't need to. I'm just going to click select and we're going to launch the builder. Okay, and so this is going to be our course so test lead generation course sales page okay and for now i'm going to leave the category blank and the website i'm going to leave blank as well again um, as you end up having more pages you can categorize these pages you can also uh, assign each page to a website. So again, uh, that's really powerful because there are global settings when it comes to like the SEO, when it comes to tracking links, okay? And, and if you're new, you might be thinking, what are you talking about, Mike? But when you get to a point where you wanna add, you know, Facebook pixels or Google Analytics to your website so that way you can get more tracking, um, you know, you would have to do it page by page by creating what's called a site, and then you can tag all your different pages that are attached to a certain site. You can then make global changes quickly and easily. Um, we'll dive deeper on that in a future video. For now, let's go ahead and create this course sales page real quick. And I'm gonna click Create. Okay, so again, you know, we're not, and we're, you know, and obviously with this page right here, you know, you can see it's got a lot of things. It's already essentially done for us. You know, everything is really already here. Uh, this would be a great place to put a video. Um, you know, and what we'll do is just to kind of make this easy. Okay, I just want to make this a simple page. I'm going to go ahead and delete this menu header. Okay, I'm just going to delete that section out of there for now. But um, again, you would change this. You know, watch to learn more. So I could, I could change the text here a little bit. Watch 
the video below to learn more about our awesome course okay you know i could put my picture over there you know i'm not marty martin over here but uh either way you could put in some details about your course you have a little video on this page about your course and again if you didn't want the video you could delete this okay um you could put the price on here if you want to um you, know, you may want to leave that blank um, and again here's some additional credibility again there's different images online that you may want to use here but uh, i'm just going to go ahead and uh, Get rid of that. Actually, you know, just kind of looking at some of this stuff, and I just kind of want to keep it simple. So let's, you know, get rid of this. You know, we'll leave, you know, what would this look like without this? Yeah, I kind of like that. It's even, even simpler. Okay. So, you know, click below to learn more. So let's just change the text because now there's no video. So click the button below to gain instant access to our awesome lead generation course. Okay, so perhaps the, you know, and again, you know, you would have to make sure that some good pre-framing has been done. Uh, so let's say they're coming from your YouTube channel or coming from your social media where they've already learned, you know, about your course and have some of the details on it. So again, this would be, again, just a simple, simple, simple page just to use for our example here. And so, so here's our sales page. And from now, from there, I'm just going to leave it right here. Again, you would want to uh, change all this to where it lines up with your course, put your picture in there, all that good stuff. Uh, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and click save on this. And we're just going to leave it as this nice and simple nice and easy but the cool thing is that you know it's just that simple to grab a template get it there and then from there if you wanted to take 10 15 minutes to go ahead and tweak all this text to to suit your particular course that's all it would take to get your sales page ready using kartra okay so i'm going to close this right here and i'm going to uh, save and publish i think i just did that <laughs> Okay, and so from there, we're gonna go to return to dashboard and then click exit. So now we've created ourselves a little sales page or a little test sales page for our membership website. So let's go back to the other tab where we're back here in my membership. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh just so that way the action that we just took um, as, as is now noticed inside of this page. You know, you always wanna make sure to refresh the page if you're using multiple tabs. Okay, and so now that we've refreshed the page, we're gonna scroll down here and go back to right where we were, which was sales promotional page. I'm gonna change this from external URL to Kartra pages. Select site, no site in particular, and then what page, and we're gonna use the um, test lead generation course sales page. I'm gonna enter that right there. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now you do have the choice, again, depending on what kind of course this is. If this is a free course, um, you could say no password required and people can just go ahead and get plugged into this course free access. You know, it's all day. You can, you can dive in there and you can, they can dive into your course right away. But for our purposes, we're going to want to have a password on this. People have to either opt in for this or they may even have to pay for this to get in. So let's leave it at that and we'll click save. And then we're going to go save and next. And see, now this is where you're going to enter the actual builder. So how is it that you want your course to actually look or your membership website to actually look online? And so this is where you're gonna enter the actual builder, okay? And so I'm gonna click that. And so it gives you a great little tutorial here, okay? Um, and we can zip right through this. It kinda tells you what everything means. I'm actually just gonna click through this because I'm actually gonna walk you right through it. Um, but when you see this yourself, if you don't know what all these headers mean over there and you want those definitions, you can take the time to go through this little uh, tutorial that Kartra is providing for you here, okay? All right, I'm gonna say don't show again, let's get started. Okay, so here we are inside of the builder for our membership website. And to start, what you'd wanna do is, first off, you wanna create your sidebar content. And this is typically gonna be you know, your information, how they can contact you. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and drag, and here's your options for host content, okay? So for that, or I'm sorry, for sidebar content, you can put that right here. And I'm actually just gonna drag the host over here. And you'll see it kind of gives you like a little authority bubble, okay? You can also put a banner, you know, above or below, you know, right there. If you wanted to put like a logo or something like that, you could certainly add that. If you wanted to sell a different product, you know, right here on the sidebar, I could drop this right here. And, you know, let's say, you know, on top of this membership course, you know, I got some consulting available. And we, in a previous video, I walked you through how to set up a product and we set up a one-on-one -on -one consulting package as a product. So let's say I wanted to add that to this membership site and kind of have that floating uh, over here uh, under my name. So that way, if they're inside of this membership website and they're like, hey, I really like this. I want to, you know, book a one-hour strategy call with this guy. It's right there for them to click and make that additional purchase from you. Okay, so either way, that's the kind of stuff you can put on your sidebar here. And what you'd want to do is you could take this and you could edit. Um, you could add some of your social media links here. You could put your email in. So let's say you got a YouTube channel and you also have a Facebook link. Okay, and you could put that link. Okay, I'm just going to type in Google. Okay, and you could put those links, you know, right there. I can, you know, you can give yourself a title if you want to. Okay, entrepreneur. Okay, for the silhouette, you could always add a picture there as well, okay? For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. So that'd be where you'd add all that and you could put those links right in there. And so now when it comes to, you know, and again, there, and also there's a spot right up here for you to add your logo if you wanna put one. But as you can see, this is kind of the home page. So let's say, and in most courses, you know, you're probably going to have a video or a training right up front, uh, right up front to show people, you know, what to expect out of this course, you know, how to get the most out of your course right here. So perhaps what you want to do is you want to create a video about that. And you could take that video and you could drag it over here. And so now right when people log into your course, and it's going to ask me right away for the video, and you can either have that as a YouTube link, Okay, you could have that as, you know, a Kartra video. So you've uploaded it to Kartra and it's right there for you. Okay. Okay, so let's just use a YouTube video. I'm just going to borrow one of my uh, video links from one of my YouTube channels. And that way I can save it just so you can kind of see what it would look like here. And so now, okay, and this is one of my, you know, why I created this channel uh, videos. Uh, and really, so now this video would be good to go. And ideally what I'd want to do, because I don't want people getting lost in YouTube land. Okay, what I would do is take the video file itself and upload it to Kartra. So that way people are staying right here in your course. But I just wanted to add a video just that way you kind of see what it would look like. And so again, I would update the picture here. Okay, I would get my social media links in right below that. Okay, step by step. And then from there, this would be a decent, you know, homepage for your course, obviously, once you add in your logo. And so now you can create additional sections, okay? And so up here where it says new category, I could take this and drag it here. Oh, I could take it and I could drag it out here. And drop it on that spot. And so let's say this was going to be lesson number one okay and from there i can click save and now i have an entire another page that people can go ahead and click on to get lesson number one and, and once you now once you have this you're going to go over here where it says new post and you're going to drag that into lesson number one okay and so, um, and again you can use different icons here if you wanted to add an image for it so post name is going to be lesson Number one, description. This is the first thing. Okay. And category is lesson number one. I'm going to click save. And notice that it added our um, sidebar, okay, um, that we had on the home page. It added it right here. So every step of the way, the sidebar will be the same as they go from lesson to lesson. Okay, so again, you know, for lesson one, let's say you got a video uh, where you're gonna provide some training. And again, I'll just use the same video link that I borrowed from my YouTube channel, uh, just to put a video in there, just kind of as a, a block, something to, to go in the space. And then from there, I could put a divider right below it. And let's say I had a download that went along with this, 
Wow, okay, and again, those files, uh, we showed you in another video how you can upload files to your cartridge system so that, so that way you can use them as giveaways either inside of your membership course or as a lead magnet. Again, that video link will be below this video. And again, all we need to do now is we could set up a button, okay? And we would have that button go to the link. So let's say, you know, download this tool, okay? And you could select destination and you would put external URL, okay? And from there, and now, and, and again, if you've already uploaded some files to your Kartra system, again, you come into My Memberships, I'm in a new tab here, uh, My Memberships, go to Files, okay? And for every file that you upload, there'll be a direct download link. So here's the file, and then here's the Git URL, give that a click, and I could take this and copy this entire link, and then from there, I can add that here, okay? And I could have it open in a new tab. And let me see this, it looks like it's trying to double HTTP on me, so let me close that. And notice it wouldn't let me save it, okay? It doesn't let you put a bad link in there, which is really, really cool. So this is done, so I can click Save. And now there'll be a button right below here that people can click to go ahead and get that file that I uploaded for them, okay? And so, and you would literally just continue to follow this process step by step. Okay, so that's lesson one, it's all set up, I'm good to go. Um, let's grab a new category. And again, you wanna put them in order here. And then now I can create lesson number two. All right, I'm gonna put new post. So this is the, when it says new post, it's uh, same as like, you know, new category or new uh, menu header inside of your course here. Again, this post name is gonna be lesson number two. Okay, the description, this is the second thing. Okay, and then I would click save. And again, I would follow that same process. Notice it populated everything that we put um, on the sidebar over here. Again, the description could be different than what I'm leaving in here. I'm just naming, you know, kind of the name of the post is lesson number two. And again, I could, I could change that. You know, if I wanted something a little bit more detailed there, I could certainly put it there, okay? Um, and then from there, if I wanted to add a video, or perhaps this one is just, again, it could be just downloads, it could just be a text file, you know, whatever it is you want. Perhaps you have a written message you wanna put here. You know, whatever the case may be. Maybe it's just an audio, you know, that you want for them. So either way, you could continue this process and build out all of your lessons right here um, inside of Kartra following the same process. Uh, for now, we're just gonna leave it at two lessons. So let's, let's go ahead and populate it. You know, let's throw a video in there. And again, I'm just gonna use the same YouTube video link that I've been using for the past lessons because again, this is just an example. Okay, but you, again, and I, and I wouldn't recommend using YouTube links inside of a course, especially if it's a paid course. If it's a free course, that's fine. If they're hosted on YouTube, that's fine. Uh, but if you want the data and you want the analytics, and, if, and definitely if this is a paid course, people don't wanna think that uh, stuff that's inside of your paid course is available for everybody for free on YouTube. They're gonna feel like they might have gotten ripped off. So you're gonna wanna take those files and upload them to Kartra, and that way they are, um, you know, any of this, you know, go check out YouTube links, none of that stuff will be on your, on your video, okay? Uh, throw a divider in there. Okay, I'm just dragging that over, drop it here. And then again, let's say I had another button and I had a new file, you know, that I, or a new giveaway or something to help them um, with their business. Download this second tool now, okay? And again, I would select um, external URL and I'm just gonna use that same one that we had before. Click that here. HTTPS, make sure it's not doubled up like this. As you can see, it won't let me save. So I can get rid of that and get rid of that, and now I can save it. Down this second tool now. <laughs> okay, so download, right, is what you'd want it to say, so let's change that. Okay, so good enough. And so, um, and from there, 
And I would also set this to, because I don't want them to leave the membership site per se. So there's one more thing I want to make sure to put, open it up in a new tab so that way they are still where they were, but yet they can go ahead and download um, whatever it is that you uploaded, whatever file you had available for them, okay? So, and again, and I would just rinse and repeat that process. You could add another lesson. You could have multiple videos inside of each lesson so you can build this down a little bit. So you can really customize this thing and build it however you want. But we're just gonna leave it at that. Just, just a homepage, two lessons inside of this course. Again, you can make it as big as you want. Okay, um, I'm gonna click the arrow over here. I'm gonna click Save Progress. And then from there, I'm gonna go save and exit. And what we're gonna see here is we're gonna see a couple of options, okay? And so this is gonna be kind of um, what your course is going to look like online. And there's a couple of different layouts that you can use, okay? So up top here are the different templates and you can see how it'll change the layout. Notice it put the sidebar over on the right this time. You know, this one here has a different looking sidebar, okay? So it's, it's different. So you can choose whichever of these templates uh, you see fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick with the standard and use the first one, but you can also change the color scheme. So let's say your main website or your main logo has a certain color scheme and you wanna maintain that here. Let's say you had um, you know, like a, a black um, logo, so you can change that. So you can pick your template, okay, and then you can choose which color. And then from there, we're gonna click Save and Exit. Okay, and so now we have our basic framework for our course. We're gonna go ahead and finish out the, the process here. From there, I'm gonna click Save and, and, and Next. And now it's gonna ask me, do I want to enable comments? So if I have um, video there, I may want people to put comments, I may not, right? Uh, but you have the ability to choose that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enable comments because again, if I have training in here, I wanna make my course as, as good as I can make it. And if people have questions or comments about the video that can help me improve it, I want them to be able to put it in there. And from there, I'm gonna click save and it's gonna give you the option, okay? You can just automatically have those comments um, approved or all of them need to be approved by the admin, which is you. And I'd highly recommend this, okay? Um, you know, if you get a upset person uh, who's looking at your membership website or your course, and again, I, I know this not from experience with any of my courses, but uh, on YouTube, uh, you know, I have multiple channels, so you'll get some people on there that make comments that you may not want underneath your video. So uh, for me, it makes sense to always have it approved by the admin, so that way it's a comment that you want others to see. Certainly if it's questions, positive feedback, you can go ahead and approve those, and then adjust um, your course as you see fit. Okay, so I'm gonna put that I want them all approved, click Save right here, and then I'm gonna click Save and Next. The next step is you can create access levels. So let's say, you know, and, and for this, Simplicity, we're just gonna have one access level. Once they gain access to the course, they can you know, have access to all the different lessons. But if you wanted to, you can create access levels. So let's say you wanted, okay, well you only get lesson one at this level. If you want access to lesson two, you gotta join in at this second level, okay? And so you can add tiers to your membership. That's what this is all about. Uh, to keep it simple, we're just gonna make it one level across the board, we'll click save. We'll go next. Uh, this part right here is about the progress. So if you wanted to set up a progress meter, so as people go through your lessons, do you wanna have a little bar across the bottom that you know, lets them know uh, the percentage of the course that they've completed? So you can, you can do that. And you have two options with that. You can either A, force the linear progression, or B, you can display the progress but not force linear progression. So let's say they, you wanna make sure that they go lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four in order. You know, you would then uh, click this one right here so that way it forces them to go down that exact path. If you wanna show the progress, but yet you don't wanna force them, you know, maybe you want to allow them to jump around inside of your course, um, and depending on the course, that's what most people are probably gonna to wanna, to, you know, have it set up to where you can jump around a little bit. Um, but again, if you wanted to have it to where it shows their progress, but yet doesn't force them down a specific linear path, you would choose this option here. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna choose, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. Okay, and then Save and Next. 
From there, if you wanted to use a help desk, so if you wanted to set up a customer support help desk, and again, you know, there's two ways you can do it with your membership course. Obviously, you can put your email and your contact info right on that sidebar there. Um, or if you wanted to have a specific help desk, maybe you have someone on your team that you're having manage the questions that are coming in from the course, you can create a help desk and, and we'll do that in a separate video. But here's where you'd be able to add that help desk to your membership website. Okay, for now we're gonna leave it blank. And then we're gonna go save and next. And this part right here is super, super, super cool. So when somebody joins your membership website, you can have this set up to where it will automatically send an email to your users with their username and credentials. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. Okay, if somebody buys the course from you, you don't have to jump online and be like, okay, now I have to send, set them up with credentials so that way they can log in. You don't have to do that. You can go ahead and set up a welcome email right here upon subscription to the membership website. Okay, and what I'll do is I would put, um, you know, who do you want the email to come from? So I might put this as support. Okay, and all the reply emails can go to the same place. Okay, and I'll click save. And right here is the welcome message. And you can see it's already set up and done for you. You can certainly change it. You can brand this email if you wanted to, but it's set up as a nice, easy, basic email with the login information. Okay, so again, they're gonna automatically get um, the login direct page. So they'll get an email with the page. They'll get the email they use to sign up for the course. And then by default, Kartra will create them a strong password to use to log in. Okay, but we're gonna leave this as is, nice and easy. We'll click Save. And then we'll click Save and Next. Now from there, um, you have the option to do some automations. So let's say they have um, signed up for your course and you wanna go ahead and add a tag or maybe you wanna add them to a list or perhaps you wanna even add them to an email sequence that you've already set up. So this is where you would do that, okay? And let's say we wanna add a tag, so I'm gonna click Change and then I'm gonna say yes, I wanna assign a tag, and I'm actually gonna create a new tag because we haven't created a tag for this. And I'm just gonna put in here, signed up for lead generation course, okay? And that'll be the description, so that way I know, okay? And from there, I will add that to my alpha automation category where we have all of our other tags. Okay, and if you need more training on how to set up additional tags, uh, there's a link below this video where we showed you how to set up a list and set up tags. Pretty simple, but again, there's a video step-by-step. -step, uh, the link will be below this video here. Go ahead and click Create. And then I'm gonna add this tag. Okay, so whenever anybody signs up for the course, they're gonna get this tag attached to them inside of the CRM that they've signed up for the lead generation course. And from there, I could use this tag to trigger uh, other automations, I could use it to add them to a sequence, okay? So the tagging is very, very powerful. And again, as far as lists, uh, sequences, you could automatically subscribe them to a sequence if you wanted to. But again, I like to use the tags to trigger different sequences. So we're just gonna leave those blank for now, okay? Go ahead and click Save and, e and Next. And from there, guys, that's it. That is it. Um, the next step to this is if you wanted to make this a paid product, would be to follow this prompt right here and go to the product section where you can actually turn your membership website into a paid product. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Elf Automation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in today's training, I'm gonna show you how to turn your membership website or your digital course website into a paid product so that way you can charge for access uh, to your course or your membership website. And so in, in, a, in a previous video, I, I walked you through step-by-step step how to create your own digital course online, um, how to create, and it's the same as, you know, if you wanted to create a membership website, we're gonna have some education in there, some training in there, perhaps some downloads in there. Um, and you could set that up uh, to where it's a free membership website, or you have the ability to turn it into a paid product. So now I wanna take that next step with you guys and show you how to turn your membership website into a paid product. 
So here inside of the my membership section, here is the test you know lead generation course uh, that we went ahead and created. And again, if you didn't uh, see that walkthrough video, there'll be a link to it below this video. And but what we want to do now, right now, it's all set up for free access. People can easily log into it, create an account and gain access to this particular course. But we wanna turn this into a paid course so that way you can sell the access and actually make some money. So let's get back over here and let's go into my products. And we're essentially gonna turn your course into a product. And so here in my products, we're gonna click the plus product over here and we're gonna use this as a main product. We're gonna give it a name, so test lead generation course. Okay, and this will be a main product. Okay, and since we've created some other another another product in here, we could use this as an upsell or downsell. Okay, we'll talk about that kind of stuff and even create some upsells and downsells in future videos. Okay, but here we just want to make it to where um, people have to pay to gain access to your course. Okay, so the official name will be the test lead generation uh, course here. Okay, and the description. Okay, description of our course, right below here, is I will show you how to generate, if I could spell, leads online, okay? And again, when you create a product, you do have the ability to make it public on the Kartra marketplace so other Kartra users could find it. Again, this is just a test course. It's kind of a dummy dummy course here. Um, so it's, again, this is just a test course, so we're gonna keep it as private. We'll click save right here. Down below, you'll configure your payment gateway and let's say, hey, I wanna use PayPal for this. And again, you know, this option is available because I've already integrated PayPal with my Kartra account. And again, if you haven't set up your payment gateways before you create any products, you're gonna to wanna to have that done in advance because it's gonna ask for it right off the bat and you can't proceed without adding a payment gateway. Otherwise, you can't create a paid product. So again, if you haven't seen how to um, add PayPal to your Kartra account or integrate that, there'll be a link below this video that shows you how to integrate payment gateways step by step. So we'll leave it at PayPal for now. We'll just go ahead and click save and we'll click save and next. The next step is we're going to talk about pricing. So again, if you want folks to pay, you know, one time for access to your course, you would select this option here. Perhaps you want them to pay a monthly membership fee to gain access to your course. We're going to set this up as just a one time payment. Okay. So price description, this will be lifetime access to our course. Okay, and for this particular course, we are gonna charge $97, okay? You know, and since we're doing just a one-time payment, we don't have to worry about the enable initial payment thing because there's not, you know, a next month, there's not gonna be a charge or they don't have to buy another, um, another uh, helping of this particular course uh, next month. So we don't need to worry about enabling the initial payment because there are no subsequent payments with this product. But again, if you did have something like that where, hey, first month they're paying this, but then the next month they gotta pay this, this is where you'd set that up. I'm gonna click save. Now from here, this is where you're kind of finalizing the pricing, you know, is there a shipping cost to this with a digital course, there's not. If you have to collect sales tax, you would do that right here. And then here's where you would establish your refund policy. And again, with typically with the course, you wanna give at least a seven day, um, you know, right kind of a right of rescission period. You know, if they just don't like your course, you don't want people online or on social media complaining about your course. So, you know, you might wanna offer some type of refund. But again, depending on the nature of your course, you know, and again, with digital courses, you know, you may not want to offer a refund. So either way, that's up to you, uh, that decision. And you would make your selection here and then go ahead and click save. Okay, and then we'd go save and next. And all the contents of this product. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to set up the uh, product page. So this would be the main page that you're using to sell your membership course. And we did actually create a page for this course, a uh, little, little uh, again, this is just a test page. But we set that up right here and I'm just gonna grab the link to it. Actually, I do not need to grab that link. Let me jump back over here. And I can create destination page, there's a Kartra page, okay? No particular site. And we created the test lead generation course sales page, right? And I can click save right there. 
And now this will be the thank you page. So once they've actually paid for your course, okay, where do you want to send them? And that's something we did not set up. So you, again, you'd want to have that set up to where you have a thank you page, um, where they're able to maybe see a video from you explaining, uh, hey, you know, thanks for, for purchasing the course. You might want to have like kind of like a thank you page there. And then below that, uh, below the video, you could have a little button that they could click that brings them to the course login page, you know, something like that. But again, we don't have that configured. So for now, I'm just going to put Google in here. Okay, just so that way we can proceed. But again, you'd want to create a thank you page. That way, once they've made the purchase, they'll get redirected to the thank you page. Okay, and I'm going to click save and next. So from here, this is where you'd set up if you want your how you want them to check out. So again, you can create it to where they can uh, buy right on a Kartra hosted checkout page. You can have it as an overlay, you know, on your website. So they click the button to buy, you know, the course, and then from there it'll pop up right then and there um, with the ability to purchase. They don't actually have to leave the page. So I like that. A lot of people are using the pop up now, so that's what we'll use. We'll click save right there. These are the fields that you're going to ask for or the information you're going to ask for when they're actually making the purchase. You know, and these are the defaults, okay? You could always add some of this stuff if you want that additional information. Perhaps you want the phone number. So you can go ahead and click save right here. Perhaps not, okay? Again, if you don't need their phone number, don't ask for it because the more things that you ask for, it lowers the chance that they're going to want to fill it out, okay? So from there, we're going to leave all this stuff blank. We're going to use the straight up checkout process. Um, if you wanted to add a cart abandonment tag, so let's say they went to buy, okay, your course, they clicked the button, it brought up the payment stuff, but then, you know, and again, they're one of your leads, uh, but then they, they walked away, they did, they closed the window or they just didn't buy the course, you can actually have it set up a tag that lets you know that, hey, they walked away, they didn't buy the course, and from there, once they have that tag, you could create an email sequence that goes out to them, encouraging them to, hey, go, go back there and check out the course, or you know some additional information to uh, perhaps uh, get them to wanna go ahead and make the purchase, okay? But for now, we don't have that set up, so we're gonna leave that blank. Uh, check on language, we're gonna leave that as English, because this, uh, this course is in English, okay? Uh, if it's not, you can change that. As well, you could set up the uh, billing agreement here, um, you don't have to activate this, but I prefer to do so. And in more and more places, it is required that you're very clear about the billing terms before they can actually pay you for the product. And again, this is for your protection and for the customer's protection here in the United States, this is required. So we're gonna wanna click yes right here, okay? And what you're doing is you're just gonna put, you know, I agree to the billing terms, okay? And I'll show you what that ends up looking like and we're gonna turn this on. And so what are our terms? The terms are one-time payment of $97 for lifetime access to our lead, lead generation course. Okay, and we'll just leave it at that. And right now we don't have a bump offer, so we're just gonna save this right here and then we're gonna click save and next. And so now the next step is what do you want to happen post sale? You have the ability to add them to a list. So if you wanted to create a specific list for people that have this course or paid for the course, you could set that up right here. If you wanted to tag your customers and you know certainly you know if they're already on your list and some folks may not be on your list so you may want to go ahead and add the ability for them to get on your main list and what i like to do is have one list per business or one list per website and then as they take different actions and as they do different things um you know tag them accordingly so if they're not already on this list i want them added to the list and then from there i'd like to tag them okay so yes let's tag these customers and let's create a new tag that they purchased lead generation course, okay? And that'll be my description as well. My category for all these particular tags, okay, is the same. And then I'll click create. And so now I'm gonna set this up to where whenever they buy this course at this price point, they're gonna get, and I click add right here, and it's gonna give them this tag. And from there, if I wanted to, I could create an email sequence 
that gets activated whenever somebody gets this tag. You know, maybe I want to send them some additional information about the course uh, to um, you know kind of help them go through it, encourage them to go through the course. Perhaps I want to let them know if there's additional support available. Maybe you have another course or another upsell or another program that you'd like to offer them once they've made this purchase here. So either way, we're going to have that tag. We'll go ahead and click save. And now, okay, since we're selling access to one of our membership websites, here's where they can access your product's contents. Okay, so if it was just a download, you know, you click this right here, right? But this is actually a Kartra membership. We want, to, we want them to gain access to one of our membership websites. So we're gonna select this, and you can choose from the memberships. And, and the one that we set up for this was our test lead generation course. And we're gonna set them up with the standard level because we only created one level with this, with this purchase, okay? And then we'll click Save. And then Advanced Automations, if you wanted to set those up, you could do that here, but we're not gonna spend any time with that, so we're gonna click Save and Next. And then this would be the area where you can add um, options for your affiliates. So if you have affiliates working for you or you want um, other affiliates to be able to refer people to your course, Okay, this is where you'd set up how they're gonna get paid. You can figure that in here. Or if you're wanting to uh, pay your affiliates just to have people uh, come to one of your, uh, have them send people to one of your websites where they opt in on a form and you're paying for the opt-ins, you could set that up in here, okay? For now, we're gonna leave these two blank. We're not gonna worry about affiliates just yet. So let's click Save and Next. And we are done, okay? And so now, okay, let's go back to products here. You know, we will see that we have now two products. We had our consulting that we created before, but now we also have this lead generation course. Okay, so how do people gain access to be, how do, how do people get to the point where they can actually buy your course? Well, there's one more step to make it available on our course sales page. So let's jump in here to pages. And if you remember, and in a previous video, we had created this little uh, mock-up uh, sales page. So I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to go to edit, okay? And again, this page needs to be tweaked, okay? Depending on your course, you know, what it's all about, you'd want to make sure that this page has all the information about your course, all the things that they're going to learn, all the features, all the benefits uh, of your course. You know, really people need to know what they're going to get out of it. Okay, so you wouldn't want to leave it just you know blank like this. You'd want to really fill it in, make sure it's all there. So that way people you know have everything they need on the page you know, to make a decision about your course. Okay, but again, this is all just still a template. We left it as such. Okay, but to activate it, to make it to where people could actually have the ability to buy your course, that's where the button comes into play. All right, and here we're going to use this order now button. We're going to click the edit here, the little uh, pencil. And just like we did with our consulting product that we created in a previous video, we're just gonna go ahead and click where it says link right here. And so whenever anybody clicks this button, uh, this section is where you're telling the button you know, what it's supposed to do. And so when people click this button, I want them, I want this thing to pop a product checkout. So I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna scroll down here and I've got a few more things to fill out. So which product? Okay, so we want the consulting, or I'm sorry, not the consulting. We want the lead generation course to be the product that it pops here. The next thing it's gonna ask is which product, and again, it's the lead generation course. And then as well, it's gonna ask you which price point. And again, we only set up one price point here for 97 bucks. And then it's also gonna ask you, do you want it to bring them to a default Kartra checkout page, or do you want it to use an overlay pop-up checkout form? And that's what a lot of people are using right now, so we're gonna select that, and we're gonna go ahead and click Apply, okay? So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna click the arrow over here, and I'm gonna save this page. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and publish this page live. Okay, I'm gonna close these other two browser windows. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make sure it works. So let's go ahead and click this link right here, and this will be the page to this um, course sales page here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in here, paste. 
And so here is the kind of the dummy page that we had set up to sell our course, okay? And hopefully you can do a better job than just the generic template. Uh, but now when we click this button, it's gonna pop up the overlay and give us the ability to purchase the course. Okay, and we set it up, you pay $97 for this course, click continue. They would fill in all of their information here. And then on the next page, and we only set this one up with PayPal, right? Uh, again, if you have integrated your Stripe, you could have both options available and they could choose either a credit card or they could choose PayPal. And this right here, okay, is before they can even go on to PayPal to pay you, they have to agree to your billing terms, okay? And again, this is just very, very important. And what we put in there is I agree to the billing terms. And what are the terms? When you hover the mouse over this, it tells them right here. It's a one-time payment of $97 for a lifetime access to our lead generation course. They would then click this right here. And then they would go ahead and click to submit the payment. And since we have it configured for PayPal, it would actually bring them to PayPal. So that way they can go ahead and pay you for the product. And then from there, once they've paid for the product, it's going to then transfer them to your product purchase thank you page, whatever you designated, designated that page to be. And then as well, they're gonna get an email from Kartra directly with their login credentials for your membership website, so that way they can gain access to your course. So there you go, guys. That's how you turn your membership website or your digital course into a paid product. Hopefully you guys found value in this training. If you did, make sure to give it a comment, give it a like below. And again, if you're not already using Kartra, you really should be for your online business. It is the absolute best tool that's out there. And we're, we hooked it up for you. Uh, you can click the link below this video. You can get a $1 14 day trial of Kartra. And again, below this video, you'll see a bunch of links in our description um, where we literally are holding your hand step by step and walking you through exactly how to set up your business using Kartra and, and wiring everything together. Uh, so that way you can start utilizing this tool. You know, even during that 14 day trial, within a few hours, you could literally be up and running um, and starting to make money uh, leveraging this powerful system. So if you're wanting to get started, go ahead and click the link below this video to get signed up for a 14 day trial of Kartra. Uh, that's it for this training, guys. I will see you in the next video. Hey, everyone. It's Mike Adams here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your own custom domain inside of Kartra. And that way you can you know, use some branding and actually use your domain name uh, for all of your various pages. And so by default, Kartra does give you your own subdomain. So for example, uh, here, you know, um, my username is Elf Automation. So you do get, you know, elfautomation.cartra.com. So you get a subdomain, you know, for free. It comes with your account. And so any of your pages will, will have that subdomain and then they get, um, you know, and you can change this if you want to. Um, but either way, it's a subdomain. You know, not so easy to say, spell, or remember, right? And so many of you guys, you have a business and perhaps you want to do some branding. So that's where the benefit of embedding uh, your own domain. You go to GoDaddy or go wherever and you, and you get yourself a domain and you can actually take that domain and embed that inside of Kartra and that way you can change your pages instead of using, so instead of having a subdomain, you can actually have your domain name, you know, whatever it is, .com slash, and then you can name the page. So that way all of your pages are branded with your domain. So let me go ahead and show you how to set that up real quick. There's really just a few steps to it. And from the main screen here, you're gonna come over here and click the silhouette, or maybe you got your picture already uploaded in there for your profile. Uh, go ahead and give that a click. And then you're gonna come down here to where it says custom domains, okay? So to get that set up, all you gotta do is come over here and click the plus. And from there, it's gonna ask you, you know, do you wanna set up your own subdomain on your domain, or do you wanna just bring over the whole domain name to use inside of Kartra? Okay, and then this is really for those that are advanced, you know, if you have a specific reason as to why you'd wanna create your own subdomain to simply use inside of Kartra, you, you do have the ability to do it. But for the sake of this example, we're just gonna use only the main domain. Most people are just gonna be bringing their entire domain over to Kartra, so that way you can name your pages you know, with that domain, okay? And so first things first, you gotta type it in right here, okay? And so we're gonna load up Alpha Automation. This one is a .net, somebody had me on the .com. Okay, so I'm gonna type that in and I'm gonna click Next. 
And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna run you through a couple of steps here, okay, that you need to do to kind of prepare this domain to be used inside of Kartra. You know, it's gonna give you an integration guide here. Um, it's gonna tell you where to point your CNAME record. So we're gonna have to log into your host provider. And, and in my situation, I'm using GoDaddy for this particular domain. You may be using Bluehost or one of the other you know, host providers out there. So your steps will be pretty similar to this. But what we need to do is we need to add a CNAME record Okay, and I say that and it's like, you know, if you're not techie, you're like, Mike, just what is a C name record? You know, the bottom line is not really a big deal. You don't really need to bog yourself down with that. Bottom line is we just need to simply add this record, okay, to um, your DNS settings in, inside of your host provider. So, and, I, and I'm gonna walk you through it and you'll see it's, you know, it's pretty simple, okay? But we just gotta, we just gotta add this link. And so, and once you've done so, you're gonna come back here and you're gonna click okay right here and then you're going to click next so next step for us is going to be to jump on godaddy so uh let's go right here and i'm going to go ahead and get logged in and again i'm just going to do the walkthrough for godaddy all of the different host providers are, are pretty similar um you know really what you're looking for is the dns settings okay so once you're able to find that inside of your host provider uh it's you know again the process is going to be pretty much the same okay so let's jump in here. So alphaautomation.net, and I'm going to grab my DNS settings here. And again, what you're seeing is a bunch of stuff, right? And uh, the bottom line is what it's asking us for here is we need to add, go right here, we need to add a C name record. So point your C name record to Kartra, okay? And on this particular domain, I was, um, you know, and you can see over here, there's the type of records, okay, that you can have. And you can see that I have my C name record here. And right now it's actually pointed at ClickFunnels because I, I did transfer, I, I, I used ClickFunnels for a long time. And so um, I've transferred the majority of my other domains over to Kartra already. So this one is, you know, was still over there on ClickFunnels, but now I'm gonna be bringing it over here to Kartra. And so all I really need to do is just update this particular record because I don't want it to point at ClickFunnels anymore. Now, if it's a fresh domain, it's probably gonna say something, 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 GoDaddy, you know, in here. And all you need to do to change it is I'm gonna click this little um, pencil over here. And all we need to do is change where it's pointing to, okay? So I'm gonna come back over to this page here and I'm gonna copy this right here, okay? Elfautomation.cartra.com. And what, you're, what this is doing is essentially telling uh, GoDaddy. It's, they're saying, okay, look, instead of sending it directly to the domain, you want, and when somebody types in this domain, we wanna send it to this particular link, okay? And so that way it redirect, essentially is gonna redirect to your Kartra account, okay? Because this is the subdomain for my Kartra account. So I'm telling GoDaddy, hey, I wanna redirect this domain to my, my subdomain here on Kartra. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Oops, and I almost forgot. There's actually one more thing that we need to do. We also need to redirect, okay? We need to set this up as a redirect as well. Since we're moving over the entire main domain, okay, we're not doing a subdomain and all that. We're bringing the main domain over here. So we also have to set up the redirect to point at this, okay? Which is of course our domain. So let's go back into GoDaddy here. And for GoDaddy, it's pretty simple. You just scroll down from here. So here's our DNS record. So we're st staying on the same page. Okay, we are updated the C name record here. But now we gotta go down, go down here and we need to update the forwarding as well. So I'm just gonna add this and we're gonna forward it directly to our domain, okay? And we wanna make sure that this is a permanent setting here. And then we're also gonna put forwarding only, okay? And then we're gonna click save. Okay, and now inside of GoDaddy, it's gonna tell you here, you know, it's gonna take a little bit for this to go ahead and update, right? But now that we've done that, we can go back here. So we pointed our CNAME record to Kartra. Okay, we did that right here, check. And we've also set up the redirect, uh, redirect alphaautomation.net to www.alphaautomation.net, which we did right here. Okay, and let me see. I don't think it needs to be S, you know, maybe it does. Okay, let me just update this. Okay, I do like the sites to be secure, so let's save it as HTTPS, okay? 
So there we go. And now we can come back here and it says, yes, I have completed the above steps, steps to link my custom domain to Kartra. Let's click yes and then click next. Okay. And so now it's going to ask you, okay, you know, is there an index page for this domain? So for your index page, you know, you could just really set that up for now. You know, if you haven't built out a website um, or anything like that just quite yet to uh, use, um, you can always come back and change this. But for now, I'm just going to grab one of the pages that was already uh, that we used as one of our templates in one of our previous videos, and I'm going to set that up uh, as our uh, index page, which kind of be like the home page. Um, you know, kind of the default home page. If somebody goes to alphaautomation.net, this will be the page that it sends them to directly. Okay. And as far as your error page, that's going to be, let's say somebody types in alphaautomation.net slash and they type in, you know, something, but it's not correct. Maybe I don't have a page with that particular, let's say, slash webinar. And let's say they mistype and, and put in, just misspell webinar. And so they, you know, type in your domain slash and they misspell whatever it is. So what's going to be your error page? And so where do you want them to be sent if they type in an incorrect page? And so again, I'm just going to set that up for now uh, using kind of a dummy page here. Okay, we'll set it up as, you know, uh, download free ebook for now. Again, those were two test pages that we made in, in a few of our previous tutorial videos. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And so that's it. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. Um, it's going to take, you know, it says within the day, but usually within a couple of hours, um, you will see that your domain is activated. I'm going to click close here and you can see that we are in process. Okay. So it's processing. Once your domain is activated, this will be a green check mark. Okay. And then from there, uh, you'll have the ability to go back through all of your pages and you can come into the spot right here where after you publish a page, you have the ability to get the link and you can click this, uh, edit URL here. And you'll have the ability, once your domain is up and it's there, you'll have the ability to change. I can change this to my actual domain slash, you know, whatever I want it to be. And I'd put whatever I want after slash right here. Okay. Okay. Let me just go ahead and refresh. Okay. And it, it may already be good to go. Um, let me go ahead and refresh and let's uh, take just one quick look here. Get the coder link and get the page link and click the um, pencil and so okay so here's what we had okay slash this and now okay so it, okay there it's already available so uh, the links may not work just yet because uh, things do take some time with godaddy and with cartridge just to process and make sure everything's gonna work so that takes a little bit of time but it's already given me the option um to uh go ahead and start using the custom domain for my page links so all I would have to do, so instead of my page reading like this, okay, so instead of this being my, my link, okay, elfautomation.cartra.com slash page slash blah, 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 uh, I could actually change this. So let's say I wanted this to be, okay, I can just go elfautomation.net slash home, if it, was, if it was my homepage, you know, slash ebook, okay, if this is where they were downloading an ebook. And from there, I could just click uh, the check mark and now this is my new link for this exact same page so again it just allows you you know custom domains are powerful it just allows you to brand your website uh, brand your company and make your links you know if you're going to be using them on social media or, or giving them out uh, in some way you know using a custom domain makes it much easier to say uh, much easier to spell and much easier for your prospects and your customers to remember so that's pretty straightforward, guys. That's all you need to do to set up your own custom domain inside of Kartra. And again, once that's done, it is done. You only have to do it once. And once that's set up, you are good to go. And of course, if you need more help with Kartra, we have done an entire step-by-step -step video series uh, literally showing you how to build out an entire automated sales funnel using Kartra, how to wire it all together and make it all work. And so there'll be links below this video to um, that entire video series. So if you need help with that, you know, feel free to dive into those. And also, if you haven't yet signed up for Kartra, uh, we did hook it up to where you get a $1 14-day trial uh, to Kartra, and there'll be a link below this video. So if you haven't already signed up for Kartra, feel free to use my link. 
and we are offering a couple of bonuses with that. Uh, the main bonus is that we are offering a one-on-one uh, -on -one strategy session uh, for anybody that signs up for Kartra using our link. All you need to do is send me an email after you've signed up with the receipt, and then I will email you back with the link to my online calendar. We can book a call, and I can help you out. You know, answer any questions that you have about Kartra and how to move uh, either your current system over to Kartra, or again, if you're brand new and you're just getting started, I can point you in the right direction on how to get going quickly uh, inside of your business using Kartra. So that's all for this video, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next training. Hey, everyone. It's Mike Adams here with Alpha Automation, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this training video, I'm going to walk you guys through and really just show you step-by-step -step how to set up a bump offer uh, inside of Kartra. So, and, and what is a bump offer? Okay, so a bump offer is where, let's say you're offering one product, but you also have another product um, that's a really good companion product for this product uh, that you'd like to offer your customers. And so let's say somebody's on the checkout page, they're gonna buy you know, product A, let's say it's consulting, uh, but you also have a, a mini course you know, that you'd like to offer them at a reduced price. Okay, obviously you can also sell the mini course on its own, but you wanna add it in as a bump offer. And many times you'll see this, you know, uh, um, and if you bought things online, you probably know about this. That's why you want to get it set up. Uh, but you can set up your main product. They want to buy it. And then usually below, uh, once they hit that final checkout button, you'll see like a little arrow pointing down. There'll be a little checkbox that people can check mark. And from there, they'll be talking about this extra thing uh, that you can add on to your order. Okay, so that, that's what we call a bump offer. And I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. Now, a bump offer is, is kind of similar to an upsell, okay? Um, the slight difference, you know, with the main offer, okay? And, and you can bump and kind of add something to that, to that main offer, that's a bump. An upsell would be where they actually make the purchase on that first product, and now they're brought to a second page, okay, kind of like a thank you page, where you're talking about a whole nother product. And then if they want to buy it, that means they bought your upsell. So slight difference between the bump and the upsell, but either way, you can set these up uh, quickly and easily uh, for your business inside of Kartra. And it's a fantastic way because the best time to sell somebody something is when they're already buying something from you. Okay, so they're already in, in, the, in the mental zone of buying from you. They, they, you know, they pass all the thresholds to pull the trigger and buy. That's a great time to offer them something else, okay? So let's walk you through that. So here in Kartra, you're gonna click over here where it says my products. And so here inside of Kartra, we already have a couple of test products that we've already set up in previous videos. And, and again, if you need step-by-step -step help, you know, building out an entire automated sales funnel, we actually created an entire video series to show you step-by-step -step how to do that. And so there'll be links to those videos below this video here. So if you need the walkthrough on how to set up a main product, you know, we, we did that so you, you could follow that video step-by-step. -step. Um, but we already have a couple products already made. We had created a product for consulting, you know, offering a consulting call to somebody. And then also we set up a little test um, uh, mini course about lead generation. Okay, and again, these are just test products. And But what we're going to do is we're going to create a bump offer for our consulting. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to offer the mini course as a bump to anybody that wants to uh, purchase consulting from us. Okay, so here's how you would do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, um, the, the, the product that I want to use as a bump. Now, if you didn't have it already set up, you'd have to go through the process of creating that product, okay? And you would then um, just set it up as a bump offer, okay? But we're going to go ahead and just clone the mini course since we've already created this. I'm going to go ahead and click over here where it says edit, and then I'm just going to clone it, okay? And here inside of the clone, and we're going to uh, name this the bump, okay? We'll call this the bump, <laughs> okay? And so we can use this as an upsell or a downsell. This, so this, this, this particular uh, product that we're creating isn't to be used as a main product because many times, you know, if you're offering it as a bump, you're not going to charge the same price point. 
okay, um, if I was selling the mini course standalone, sure, I might be selling it for 97, but when I'm using it as a bump, like they're buying consulting from me from a, for a certain price, and I wanna offer them this product, I might wanna give them a, an instant discount if they, if they grab the course as well. So you wanna set up a whole new product for that, so that way you don't have to worry about setting up coupon codes and things like that. So instead of making this a main product, we're gonna make this an upsell or downsell type product. And we're gonna add it to the consulting. It's gonna say which funnel, okay? And that's where it's, where it's talking about which product are you gonna be adding this as a bump to, okay? And so we're gonna be adding this as a bump to anybody that wants to get our consulting. So let's go ahead and click that, and then we'll click next. And from here, we're gonna, it's gonna load up the product builder. And again, if you haven't seen this already, you know, click the links below, after this video, you can click the links below to review uh, setting up a product inside of Kartra and, and all the steps are exactly the same now, uh, except that we've just changed it to where we're, we're, we're treating this product as a bump or an upsell. So the basic info, since this is already a product that we already set up, we can leave the basic product details the same. We can click save and next. From there, we get into the pricing. Okay, so what we had for, if somebody was buying the course standalone, we were gonna sell it for $97. But since we're using this as a bump, you know, let's knock down the price a little bit. You know, they're already buying consulting from us, and I believe we were charging 147 uh, for the consulting call, so they're already paying that. You know, from there, let's give them a discount here. You know, they can get this course for 67 as a bump. Okay, so we're gonna knock the price down by $30. Okay, I'm gonna click save. And then from there, everything else will be pretty much the same from your main product. So I can click save and next, we're gonna leave all that the same. As far as the context of the, um, of the bump, you know, you're gonna set up a thank you page for your bump offer. So wherever it is you want them to land after they've made this purchase. And so, and since we're gonna be and so now, since we're gonna be using this as a bump offer, you're still gonna want them to go to the same thank you page that they would go to from your primary offer. And again, we're offering the consulting. And so from there, whatever your thank you page is for your consulting, you would wanna have this thank you, you'd wanna have that page here as well. So that way they're not uh, going to the uh, thank you page for the bump offer. We want them to go to the thank you page for the main offer. Okay, so make sure that this, what you have in here is the same thank you page as what you're using for your main product, okay? And so we'll leave it at, we'll leave it at, we had it at Google, because again, these are just test products. Okay, then you're gonna go to the checkout, and you're gonna ask for all the same information here as if they bought the product from you, okay? And you're not gonna add a bump to this particular offer, okay? So we're gonna save and next here. Uh, we're gonna leave all, and actually, let me go back, okay? Because we gotta change the billing terms. Okay, so inside of here, everything's gonna be basically the same, except for this right here. Okay, since we knocked down the price, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that that reflects in the billing terms, okay? And so if you ever did wanna offer this standalone, like let's say uh, you know you wanted to offer it in a different scenario, you wanna make sure that this, this price in here reflects exactly what they're paying for this bump, okay? And so let's click Save here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and click save. And so now after they've made the purchase, what do you want to have happen? And this is where you take care of what's gonna happen post sale. So when they do purchase this particular product, yes, we wanted to add them to our main list. We um, had in here already that we wanted to tag them that they actually purchased the course. And then from there, we want to give them access to the course. And again, we created um, a digital course as well. And again, uh, you know, the link to that video is below this video. So check those links out if you're, again, looking for that step-by-step -step training on how to get set up with Kartra and build out an entire automated sales funnel uh, with a membership website, with a digital course. You know, we went through and, and we did all of that. So look for those links below this video here for more training. Um, but yeah, we are got that all set up. So let's click save and next. And we're not gonna worry about any affiliates here uh, for offering the bump offer, so we're just gonna click Save and Next. And so now we're done. Okay, so what we've done is we've created a new product to use as a bump offer to our main product. And so you can see it here, right? 
but there's one more thing that we need to do before it'll actually be made available as a bump offer for our consulting. We have to make an edit inside of our main product. So let's go ahead and edit the test consulting here. And I'm gonna go to edit product, and then we're gonna go next, okay? And there's one thing that we need to change in here, okay? So our consulting is all good to go, okay? So we don't need to necessarily change this product. We just need to change one setting here, and it's gonna be in the checkout section. Okay, so again, this is where we're offering the one-on-one -on -one consulting. We're gonna click Save and Next. Um, we don't have to change the pricing, okay? We're offering the consulting call for 147 for a one-hour consultation with you. Okay, the contents will be the same. And again, you would wanna have your product page in here. We just had it labeled as Google. But your main product page is just the page that you're actually um, describing your consulting and actually selling your consulting, okay? And then the thank you page would be the page that they land on after they make the purchase, okay? So again, we have it labeled as Google, but you wanna set up a thank you page that they land on. And in this scenario, uh, where we're offering consulting, you may wanna have a page with a video and then a, a, a button or a link that they can click where they can access your calendar so they can go ahead and book the strategy call with you, okay? But again, we're gonna leave that as such and we're gonna keep going. And this is the part where we're gonna actually add the bump, okay? And so scroll down here and all this we're leaving the same, but notice down here, there's a section for bump offers. Okay, right now we have it off. So we're gonna click change, and we're gonna activate this bump offer, okay? And so I'm gonna click yes, and there are some limitations to the bump. Uh, the number one limitation to this is that you cannot use PayPal as a form of payment for your bump, okay? Because when you're using a bump offer, what it's gonna wanna do is it's gonna wanna process the same, uh, the same payment type um, for uh, the bump. And then we scroll down here and you can see we wanna switch this on to activate the bump offer. And so now we gotta fill the rest of this out. So it's gonna ask us which product funnel, okay? So test consulting, and which product from that funnel is we had our lead generation course bump. Okay, so select that from the list. And there was only the one price point that we set up for that bump, $67. And now check this out. Okay, so it's adding something that looks like this. And if you've uh, been on any other marketing uh, purchase sites, you perhaps have seen something like this where there's a little arrow, there's a little checkbox. Okay, and so far, and so what this says here is, you know, upgrade my order, download my you know, winning ebook, how to chop onions like a professional chef for $5 more, right? And so what we're doing is we're offering a lead generation course here. So I could put yes, um, you know, I could put something like this, need more leads, okay? And I could put in here, get my lead generation course today at a discount, discounted price. Okay, I could, I could just leave it as something like this. So need more leads for your business or need more leads for your business. Okay, need more leads for your business. Get my, top, you know, get my top rated, uh, get my top rated lead generation course today at a discounted price, okay? And you have the option here to, you know, change this up and, you know, if you wanted to use you know, a different color where they can check mark the, the little circle. And here's another option here, you know, kind of like this one, okay? And you have the ability to have, you know, you can get rid of the little uh, shopping cart if you want to. You can leave it on the bouncing arrow. You can get rid of that if you want to as well. We're gonna leave it. And so that's all we need to do here. So now the little, the, the secondary product that we created, um, we have now added that here and we're gonna use it as a bump. And then we're gonna scroll up here and we're gonna click save, okay? And then from there, we're just gonna click save and next, okay? Everything else we can leave exactly the same, okay? So we can leave this here, leave this here, and I'm just going save and next all the way through because everything else can stay exactly the same, okay? And so now what we wanna do is let's load up the page and test this, okay? And, and we did add a little page here, let's jump into uh, I open up a new tab here for my pages and let's go ahead and load up the page where we were selling the consulting. And so here's our test consulting product page. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a click and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the code or the link okay and so here was our page link for this and I'm gonna put that in a new tab and load it up here and so this is where they'd have the ability and again uh, again this is just a sample page we're not actually selling consulting on this page but uh, in a previous video we showed you kind of how to configure this so that way we set it up to where they can actually purchase the consulting from a click of this button so we're gonna give it a click okay and so here's where they'd have the ability to go ahead and purchase your consulting they click continue okay they fill in all their info they click continue and now here is where we see the bump okay so they have the ability to go ahead and buy your consulting from you but as well you know if they need more leads for their business right if you're offering a course like this uh, all they would have to do is check mark this right here and from there, um, they'd fill in the rest of their, fill in their payment info, they would check mark the box right there, and this additional add-on product or this bump offer is gonna be added to their order. They're gonna agree to the billing terms for um, the uh, consulting, and as you can see, the price, it's now added, you know, the consulting we were offering for 147, okay? And now it's added the 67 for the course as well. And so this would be what they would pay once they process, uh, click this button, okay? So there we go, guys. That's how you add a bump offer. You'd wanna go ahead and take these steps to uh, create that product. Again, if you haven't already created the bump offer, you'd have to create the product uh, from scratch. If it's already a product that you're using and now you just wanna use that same product as a bump, uh, you would create a separate product for that. If you're gonna be offering at a different, at a, at a lower price point, you know, most of the time, you know, that's what you're gonna do when you're offering a bump, so that way they're getting a deal. You know, maybe they've seen your course and they've seen it at the main price and they're like, okay, that is actually a deal, it's $30 off. You could even say that in the notes, you know, get, you know, get this at a discounted price, $30 off today when you add it to your order. You could label that right in here if you wanted to, okay? But uh, bottom line is, you know, this is a great way to increase your revenue by adding a bump offer to your main offer. Because again, the best time to offer somebody something to purchase is when they're already purchasing something from you, okay? So hopefully you guys found value in this training and this step-by-step -step walkthrough. Again, if you're new to Kartra and you don't already have Kartra yet and you're wanting to use it uh, inside of your business, um, click the link below this video. You can get yourself a $1 14-day trial to Kartra and you can give this thing a test drive. This is the most powerful software on the planet uh, to run your entire business. You don't have to have five, six, seven different tools uh, anymore to run your business, okay? You can run it all using Kartra. So again, if you don't already have it, click the link below this video. And again, if you're looking for step-by-step -step training on how to set up an entire automated sales funnel using Kartra, from there, sign up for your trial. And from there, click the links below this video and you can go through all the videos step-by-step -step, and you'll be up and running in no time using Kartra inside of your business. That's all for this video, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Alpha Automation and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's training, uh, we're gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to set up a campaign or a done-for-you campaign inside of Kartra. Okay, and again, for those of you guys that are new to Kartra, it is uh, literally the most powerful tool on the planet uh, to run your entire business online. And one of the greatest things about it is that it replaces so many different softwares that for years I had to use, gosh, upwards of six, seven different programs to run my entire business. And I had to wire it all, you know, kind of duct tape that system together. And with Kartra, you can actually uh, do everything you need all in one place. So it's very powerful. And one of the key features uh, of Kartra is that you can build out a campaign and that campaign is actually shareable with other Kartra users. So for example, when I was using ClickFunnels, again, great program, uh, but with that, that's really just your, your kind of your landing page, kind of your funnel builder. You're building out web pages with that. And with ClickFunnels, you had the ability to get a share link and from there, if you, if you had another uh, ClickFunnels user on your team, you could give them that link to, uh, for that specific funnel and it would just go ahead and upload that funnel directly into their account. So that way they didn't have to recreate the wheel. They could just use your funnel. Um, the cool, and, but again, that's just the pages. 
You know, what about all the integrations? You know, what about all the email marketing? What about the automated email sequences? What about the forms? What about all that? Okay, and, and that's the cool thing about campaigns inside of Kartra is that you're not limited to just sharing just the pages. You can actually build out the entire campaign for somebody. And so, and that's where you got, again, the pages, the email sequences, all the automation, the lists, the tags, you know, everything that you're using inside of your, your campaign, you can package that as a campaign and then create it to where you can actually share the entire campaign with another Kartra user, saving somebody all that time and effort of building it on their own. So it's an incredible feature and I wanna show you guys exactly how to use it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uh, creating a campaign based on one of my current uh, websites that I'm using for one of my YouTube channels, Think Wealthy. And on that channel, uh, it drives people to this particular page right here. And this is essentially a full-on website template, okay? So it's a, an authority page. Um, you know, with a menu bar up here, all these, of course, are clickable uh, to different pages, recommended resources. It's kind of like you know affiliate uh, programs that I'm promoting. Okay, uh, there's additional uh, YouTube video information on here. Okay, so all these pages are attached uh, to this main website. Okay, and there's all kinds of links and buttons to click. Okay, so I'm going to close this. I got a boatload of tabs open here. Okay, so let me close that one too. Okay, so uh, you know, free downloads, you know, someone wants to click on that, you know, brings them to a free download page where we're giving away a couple of lead magnets here to get people on our email list, okay? And from there, once they opt in to get one of these, like let's say they wanted to download our calculator, okay? It's gonna bring them to a separate uh, page, you know, that's inside of here, okay? It's not accessible from the menu bar, just from a, from a click, they gotta go to free downloads and they can get this. Uh, but from there, they can uh, go ahead and opt in to download the calculator, and from there, they'll be on our email list. And from there, they'll be added to a sequence, okay, that we're gonna include inside of this campaign. Okay, and, and again, let me just show you, okay, so we got the calculator covered. Um, as well, we are also selling a couple of products on this website. We do have a mini course uh, for one of our uh, trainings uh, that we're talking about on our YouTube channel called Velocity Banking, so we have a mini course for that. And we're also offering, so this is a uh, kind of a sales page here that we've been using. We've been making sales with this page, okay? And uh, from there, if somebody wants to gain in instant access to the course, they click the button here, and it's gonna bring them to a page where they can actually go ahead and purchase the course uh, directly from us, okay? And same for consulting. We're offering some one-on-one -on -one consulting for that as well. So same thing, you know, they can click here to book a time for their call, brings them to a page where they can actually pay for the consulting. So all that stuff is going on, you know, on this website, all these different pages, um, all these uh, availability for products, downloads, all that good stuff. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that page and turn it into a campaign that we can use so that way I can share it um, with other Kartra users and other people that are on my team. And for those of you guys that don't already have Kartra and you're interested in a template like this, uh, if you do use my affiliate link to sign yourself up for Kartra, again, you can get a $1 14 day trial of Kartra. There'll be a link below this video for that. And if you do use my link, you can just send me an email with your receipt and I'll actually share this exact campaign with you. Um, so that way you could take uh, that website, that authority website and literally just change everything out um, to all your information for your products, for your services, everything like that, and you already got a, a working template that you can use right out the gate. So again, if you use uh, my affiliate link, I'll give this exact template to you, okay? So let's go ahead and build this campaign out so that way it's uh, good to go and ready to be shared. So over here on the left, okay, we're gonna go down here to where it says campaigns, okay? And a cool thing about Kartra is that there's already a ton of done for you campaigns uh, that come directly with uh, your account. So you'll find those here in the little sub menu. You can go here, done for you. And so there's a ton of campaigns that Kartra put together for you already that you can easily deploy and utilize right away inside of your business, okay? But what we wanna do is we wanna make our own campaign. And so especially when, you know, like let's say you have a business uh, or let's say you have a, a certain lead generation page that you've set up and you're starting to get conversions with that page, 
you know, uh, typically it's not going to be the flat template that they give you. You're going to have to tweak that uh, template um, to your to your business or to your services. And so once you have that done and it's ready, you can create a new campaign with um, everything that set up to your liking. So that way, again, if you have other people on your team or you want to simply give your uh, campaign uh, away as a free giveaway to other Kartra users, you'll be able to do so. Uh, you do also have the ability to go ahead and charge money for your campaign. You can actually list your campaign on the Kartra Marketplace here. And inside of the Kartra Marketplace, there's all kinds of different you know, pages that people have set up, uh, authority pages like the one that I'm gonna be creating here, um, all kinds of different campaigns that are available for purchase directly from the Kartra Marketplace. So if you build out a really, really good campaign, you may even be able to make some money selling it right here on the Kartra Marketplace. So for now though, uh, we're gonna go ahead and click the pulsating plus over here, okay? And we're gonna create our campaign. And so what are we gonna name this? We're gonna name this for now, I'm just gonna name this the uh, test campaign. Test, actually no, I'm gonna give it a proper name. Actually no, this is more than a authority page campaign. Okay, uh, this is gonna be, I'm gonna put my name in here instead of my uh, entity. Okay, so we're, okay, so we're just gonna put authority page along with uh, downloads, products, and email sequences, okay? So we're building out the authority page campaign. Let's go ahead and create it. And again, the goal with this one, this is gonna be great for uh, those of you that would like a website, you know, those of you that want um, a website that you can use, that you can drive traffic to, and kind of use it as your home base. You know, from there you can create all kinds of different extensions off of your home base for different funnels and things like that that you might be offering. Again, lead magnets, products, services, you can create all kinds of additional pages from this page. So to start, it's gonna ask us for some basic info. And so we could create um, an image thumbnail to represent our campaign. We'll leave that blank for now. If you wanted to, you could actually uh, create an entire video presentation uh, describing um, the campaign. And so if you wanted to do that, you could put that in here, okay? You would grab one of your videos that you've uploaded to Kartra talking about your campaign. And certainly if you're going to be selling your campaign on the Kartra marketplace, you may wanna create a video walking people through exactly what they're gonna get if they purchase your campaign, okay? But again, if you're giving it to your team members, things like that, they may not need the video and you could certainly upload an image and you just upload it right here that's representative of, of your campaign. For now, what I'll do is I'll just click the pencil Okay, let me just grab a corporate headshot here. All right, that's great. So for now, we can just use a little corporate headshot in there. Again, uh, you may wanna uh, put a picture in there that's more representative of um, the actual campaign itself. Perhaps you wanna even get a thumbnail created specifically for this. Um, but again, this is a test campaign, so we're gonna go ahead and save this for now. And the next step is you can go ahead and hit save and next. Now the next step is to put all of the assets into the campaign, okay? And it gives you some notes down here, okay? It's saying, hey, look, you know, all of the assets could be interlinked with each other. So again, if one of your pages contains a video, an opt-in form, and a checkout, you're gonna wanna make sure to add all of that stuff to the campaign, all right? So we're not just adding the pages, you wanna add the pages, the forms, the videos, everything. Okay, this is an all-inclusive campaign, and it's gonna walk us through this step-by-step. Step. So I'm gonna click, okay, I understand. And from there, uh, now we can start adding things to this particular campaign. And so what we're gonna do, uh, for starters, is we're gonna start with the pages, okay? And I'm gonna select a website. And again, uh, we have another video where we talk about uh, creating a website on here and creating a site, so that way you can make global changes and things like that to um, all the pages that are attached to a certain domain. Uh, that'll be covered in a different video. Um, we'll link to that below this video, okay? But uh, I have my Think Like the Wealthy um, site, and then from there, it's gonna show me all the pages that I have inside of the site, okay? And a ton, some of these are just video posts. Um, we don't need all of those. 
but we do need all the pages okay that are attached to this right here we at least want to build out this entire framework for folks um, and that way you got again this campaign that's good to go and, and, and ready for use okay so we're gonna grab all of these different pages everywhere every page that these links go to is gonna be included inside of this campaign so for starters let's find our home page here do, 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 do. So we'll grab the home page and we'll add it. Okay, so there's that page is now going to be a part of this campaign. Let's keep going. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of zip through this. Okay, I have a work with me page attached there. Yep, work with me. Okay, I got the work with me page. We're going to need the recommended resources page. Okay, we're also going to need, let me double check, YouTube videos and free downloads. Okay, so YouTube videos, so videos. Okay, and then also free downloads. Okay. And so now, okay, now is that all the pages we need? Not yet, okay, because what we need to do is take a look at where do these buttons go? So, you know, with recommended resources, that's a page full of affiliate links, okay? So they're gonna be going to different affiliate offers. YouTube videos um, on here, um, these are essentially going to uh, different playlists, like these buttons right here, okay, are, are sending people directly to the YouTube channel. So we don't have additional pages to add for that. But over here, okay, in the free downloads area, okay, this is gonna be bringing them to two, uh, basically funnels, okay, um, inside of here. So let's say somebody wanted to download our calculator. As we can see, it's gonna be bringing them to this page right here. Okay, so it's gonna bring them to this calculator download page. So we're gonna wanna have this as a part of the campaign. Also here, you know, we have this free book that we're giving away, so it's a free uh, ebook about starting a business four things you need to start a business, okay? And so we're gonna need both of these pages, and as well, we're gonna need both of the thank you pages that are attached. So um, when they opt in for the ebook here, they're gonna fill out the form, and they're gonna land on a thank you page. So we're gonna have to grab both of these pages, and then plus the corresponding thank you pages, okay? So let's go ahead and grab those right now. And so I'm gonna think wealthy, and so we wanna grab the Let's see, we're looking for. Da, 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 da. Okay, so uh, nice and neat right here. So we got our calculator page, because that's where they're downloading uh, the free calculator tool that we're giving away here. Okay, and again, these are just lead magnets, so that way we can generate leads. Okay, if you're going to be driving traffic to your website, you want to have a couple of pages set up to where they have the ability to opt in for your email list. So that way you can start building a list that you can uh, later um, email those leads and offer them uh, some of your other products and services over time. Okay, with uh, automated follow up. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the other lead magnet here. And that was our four currencies ebook. So we'll grab that. And that way, when somebody gets this campaign, it's like, okay, now they already have a couple of pages already set up. And again, the links will all work. Um, but they have a couple of pages already set up. And let's say you're not giving away a calculator or you're not giving away an ebook, but you're giving away something else. All you'd have to do is just change out the information that's on the template for your information. Okay, whatever, whatever it is. So let's grab the thank you page. So now we got both of those, okay? Now we're also offering a couple of products. And again, you would have the ability to grab the pages, okay? Like let me go uh, here. Actually, let me close a few of these just so we're not so messy. Let me clean up my room a little bit here. Okay, so we also had a couple of product pages um, where we're offering some consulting, we're offering a mini course. Okay, so depending on how complete of a campaign you wanted to build out here, um, and again, if somebody's not offering any type of products, they wouldn't necessarily need these additional funnels, but they look exactly like uh, the funnels that we created for our other free giveaways uh, where we're giving away 
uh, the ebook, you'll notice that there's um, a certain theme that I'm following here. So let's let's take a look at the calculator that we're giving away. And you'll notice that the page, okay, this is just a short page right here, looks basically the same as the uh, page where I'm offering consulting, okay, except I have a little bit of additional information on the page, um, uh, just a little bit more to let them know kind of what we'll talk about on the, on the consulting calls and whatnot. But again, it's the same framework here, okay, that I'm following. So, you know, perhaps for this campaign, we don't need to add that because again, if somebody doesn't have a product that they're selling, okay, or they're not selling consulting specifically, um, they wouldn't necessarily need this. And it's really the same for the mini course as well. It's following that same framework that I built out. Again, the only thing that's extra is that I'm giving additional information about um, the, the actual course, okay? So since all of that is following this basic same framework here, for the sake of this video, we're just going to leave it as this right here where you got a couple of lead magnets. And again, if you had a couple of products, you'd wanna go ahead and create those products. And then from there, you could just add the additional credibility statements um, on the page. Because again, you're getting the thank, you know, getting the, the giveaway page, plus you're getting the thank you page. So again, you would just have to create your, you know, clone these pages, and then from there you'd be able to go ahead and um, reword everything to suit um, your particular product or service. Okay. So for now, this will be all the pages that are going to be a part of this funnel. Um, we could go ahead and add, you know, actually, no, no, that's not it. Uh, we should as well add all of the privacy and the terms. Okay, just so that way people don't have to worry about that. And really what we're talking about is down here at the bottom, uh, you got a privacy policy page, terms of service page, earnings disclaimer page. Uh, very important that you have all that stuff. So let's go ahead and include that in the campaign. And again, people would again just have to simply reword this. Let me grab the privacy page. Okay, let me grab the terms page. Okay. And then let me grab the earnings disclaimer page. So that way that's all ready to go and done for you. Okay. So earnings, boom, boom. Okay. So we got our free giveaway pages that again, you can clone and easily turn into product pages. Okay. Um, we got all the disclaimer pages there for you. Um, so that's it on pages. Let's go ahead and save all of that. Okay. And, but that's not it, right? If I wanted to just give away the website, okay? So let's say I wanted to make my campaign just the website itself. This is all I would need, okay? This is all I would need right here. I have all the pages. And again, all the linking will all be set up. I could go ahead and uh, move, move forward with the campaign builder here. I can go save and next and, and carry on. And the campaign would just have all of the pages, right? But what I also want to do is I want to also add some of the forms and some of the lists and also some of the email sequences. So that way all of that is done for you as well. Okay, so let's stay in here for a second. Let's go back to change. And so what we want to do is we want to take a look at some of the lists that we're using inside of this page. And so let me go ahead and uh, we'll go to lists and we can select a list. And so the first thing is obviously I had different lists available and, and now I like to use tagging for this as well. You can use lists or you can use tagging. Uh, typically what I like to do is I like to have one main list for anybody that's coming to my website. And then from there, based on their engagement or their interaction with my website, I'm either A, gonna add them to an additional list Okay, or B, and most likely nowadays, I, how I really do it is with tags. I, I primarily just want one list for my domain, um, but then I want to be able to use tags based on their behaviors uh, to categorize people differently. Okay, so let's include one list, okay, that people can get plugged in with. Okay, and again, so that way that's set up for you. When you add this campaign to your system, it's gonna walk you through step by step um, how to organize all this, how to rename everything, okay? So let's go ahead and save that for the list. And then let's come back in here and let's add the tags. Okay, so let's jump into my Think Wealthy tags here. And so we had a ton of different tags for all kinds of different things that people are doing as they're engaging with our emails, okay? But primarily what we're looking for is people that have um, downloaded our calculator. So let's say they download your lead magnet. Let's go ahead and add that tag so that way it's a part of this for you. 
Um, let's say they wanted to download your ebook. Okay, let's add that tag as well. So that way, again, that's a, it's a part of this campaign and it'll get populated. And from there, as you can see, you know, we had tags for just about all of the different ways that they could engage with us. You know, um, you know, there's a webinar, you know, that we have available that people can find on our page. And if they engage with that webinar, they get a tag. You know, if they did paid consulting with us or purchased a paid consulting product, uh, they would get a tag here if they purchased the one time offer. OK, so there's all kinds of different tags that we made available for people. Um, if and when, uh, when they join your, your email list and as they start engaging with your website. Um, also, you know, let's add this tag here, you know, add it to the welcome sequence. So, you know, you may have an email sequence that goes out to them once they download your lead magnet, okay? And so after they downloaded your lead magnet, you might have a little email sequence that goes out to them, which we do, and we're gonna add that to this campaign. But afterward, uh, from there, you might wanna add them to an, uh, an indoctrination uh, email sequence. So before you start offering them other products and other services, um, you're going to want to indoctrinate them using what's called, uh, you know, coined by Russell Brunson. It's coined a soap opera sequence, uh, where it's about a four email sequence where you're sharing your story and letting them know a little bit more about you, so that way they, they can connect with you and who you are and what you're all about. And then from there, be more likely to stay on your list. And once they get added to that welcome sequence, I have a tag in here. So that way, again, when I'm looking at my leads and I'm looking at them inside of my CRM, I can see you know, all the different things that they've been tagged with, okay? But again, for the sake of this video, and again, uh, to keep it really simple, we're just going to tag people based on what we're putting inside of this campaign. And so here's the two tags we're gonna keep. Let's go ahead and save that, okay? So now we got pages, we got a list, we got tags. Let's go ahead and uh, add a few more things in here. So we also need to add in all of the sequences that were also attached to this particular campaign. So let's go in here. And we have, and again, I have a ton of different sequences in here for different things that we're offering, okay? But let me scroll down to, we wanna add our calculator download sequence. So when individuals are downloading our calculator, I have like a four email sequence that's gonna go out to them. And so I want to add that sequence to this campaign. And so that way, when they download your, uh, we'll call it your calculator, but again, you can change it to whatever you want, um, this sequence will already be in place to where they'll go ahead and opt in uh, for your calculator. And then from there, they'll start getting these emails. And again, you'll just have to tweak them uh, to whatever your lead magnet actually is. And we'll do the same thing for the four currencies uh, ebook that we had created here. Okay, and as you build out a ton of uh, different sequences, you might have to look around a little bit. So there it is. So for those that are downloading this particular uh, ebook, there was a separate sequence that I had set up for them, again, talking about the ebook instead of the calculator, right? So those are now in place. Now we need to add the forms, okay? So there's a form on each of those pages, right? So if somebody wanted our calculator, okay, here, they would end up on this page here. And then there was a form Okay, and, and it's this form that's actually gonna add the tag and add them to your, your main email list, right? So we need to add this form to the campaign. So that way, again, it's all linked up and it's all good to go. So let's go ahead and um, load our calculator form, okay? And then as well, let's load our four currencies ebook form. Okay, and again, all these different things. Okay, if, if this is the first video you're watching, like Mike, where you, where's all this stuff coming from? How'd you make all this other stuff? Okay, there'll be links below this video that literally walk you through. We, we created an entire video series um, to show you how to build out all of these different pieces of the puzzle, and then as well, how to link it all together. Okay, and that's kind of what we're doing here with this campaign is you know, we're actually linking together an entire campaign. But again, if you need further training on how to build out each and every one of these things, there'll be links below this video walking you through exactly how to do just that, okay? So, okay, so now we got our forms in there, now we're gonna save. And so look at what we've done here with this campaign. This isn't just some pages, okay? So now we got the pages in there, we got a primary email list for you to add folks to. When they download any of your lead magnets, we got a couple of tags. And then we also have a couple of email sequences that are activated by these tags, okay? 
and they get put on your email list and they get added these tags uh, via the form that they fill out, okay? And so we've added all that to this campaign. And let me just see if there's anything else that we need to add in here. Okay, again, if there were videos, right? So let's say I had, you know, a video on this page. Okay, I'm, again, I'm just using an image of our calculator here. Okay, um, on the pages where I'm selling a product, um, I do like to use video. So if I was um, having those particular um, uh, funnels, at, you know, as a part of this campaign, I would want to include the videos. If there was any specific automations that I had going on, I would want to add those here as well. But for now, okay broadcast emails tracking pages tracking link calendars okay for now we don't need any of that and we're not offering any products with all of this so this is good to go okay as far as a basic campaign with two lead magnets a primary email list and two email sequences that are going to go out and so from there i can click save and next and now you have the option here and again this is where i was talking about the marketplace before if you if you've built out a really good campaign or a really good website and it's converting for you and it's you know making you money um, you have the ability to list it on the kartra marketplace um, or you can keep it private and for this uh, i'm going to be using this as a free giveaway for those that are using uh, my kartra link to sign up for kartra uh, for those that want it i'm going to send them this website because it is converting it is uh, taking in traffic it is making us money so uh, i want to give this away so i'm going to keep this one private and i'm going to go ahead and click save and then i'm going to click save and next and guys that's it okay so we have created an entire campaign that's now ready to be shared so i'm going to click here and I'm gonna to go to my campaigns, okay? And so here's our authority page campaign that we just built out, and I can view the assets that are in this page, and it's all the different things that we just put in here, okay? So now here's the ultimate test, okay? The beauty of this is, again, if you have team members or you have other people that you wanna give this campaign to, so that way they can just upload it to their account, what does that process actually look like? So let's say you had someone on your team, you wanted to give them this campaign, they signed up for Kartra, they used your link, and now you're gonna hook them up with this campaign. You can click share right here, okay, and it's gonna run you through a couple of disclaimers to make sure that you're not spamming this to people that, that didn't ask for it, um, that you are the creator of this campaign, you're not stealing somebody else's campaign and then trying to pass it off as your own. So yes, I just made this one, and I'll uh, we'll click next. Okay, and so when it comes to sharing your campaign, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, the first way um, is to literally just type in the email or the username of the Kartra user that you want to share this campaign with. And so, you know, again, you know, if you're wanting to, again, the beauty of this is that way you can control the flow of who's gaining access to your campaign. You're not just sticking a link out there that anybody can grab and upload uh, your campaign to their to their Kartra account. If you want to control the flow, this is a great way to do it. And that way um, you would just get their email or get their username and then from there share it directly with them and they will receive a notification that um, a funnel has been shared with them. So I have a test account okay that i'm going to share this with just that way we can see how that process works and this was my um okay so this is a link this is just a, a, a test account that i had set up uh, to create some videos with a fresh account okay and so this has been um sent okay so this campaign has been sent to that particular account so that's one way you can share it um, the second way is through getting a share code or link. And for those of you guys that have shared funnels using uh, ClickFunnels, that's how you did it, is with a share link. And what I could do is I could generate this code right here. And from there, somebody could import this campaign to their account via this code. Now, this code is unlocked. And so what that means is anybody, everybody could get their hands on that code and upload this campaign to their account. Um, you also have the option here to use what's called a one-time only unlocking feature. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's generate a new code, which is just for one-time only. So this is locked, meaning once somebody uses this code once, this code will never work again. Okay, so again, it's just a great way to control the flow of people that are gaining access to your campaign. Okay. 
And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over into a new browser here. I got um, this is all running on Chrome. I'm going to load up my Firefox tab here. And this is my test Kartra account that we've used in some of our other videos to build out some of the test pages and things like that. And so I'm going to refresh that page. And what we're going to see is we're going to see now this notification here. We're going to see this little campaign notification as well. And this is really just letting us know that somebody shared a campaign with us. Okay, so it's letting us know, hey, you know, wow, look at this. This authority page campaign came through from Marketing Success, that's me. And uh, so if I want to go ahead and use it, it's available in the Done For You section. So if I come over here and go to Campaigns, and then go to Done For You, okay, I will now see this new campaign, okay, that was added to my account. So I was able to just send the campaign there. Now, the campaign's not available for use inside of my system just yet because I would have to click here and I would have to accept the campaign, okay? And once I've done that, then I can deploy it. Now, if somebody didn't share it with you directly and let's say they gave you an import code, okay? So this is where you would import the code. You, um, you come over here into done for you, so campaigns done for you and click import. And this is where you can put in that code. Okay, so let me grab that code. And let's say, you know, again, I wanted to just share this code um, directly. For some reason, I didn't want to just email it to them directly. Okay, and I wanted them to use this share code because, again, you can choose how you want to do it. Uh, from there, here's the code. I would type it in right here. Copy and paste. Click Next. Okay, and so what this is letting me know is that uh, since I already have the campaign imported here, um, I already have it, so I don't need to use this code. But if I didn't share it, um, if I didn't directly share it, or let's say, let me let me just go ahead and reject it. Okay, let me reject that. And so that way now it's gone, right? And now I can go back here to import. I could pop in my code and click next. And so here it is, and it's letting me know I'm about to import this authority page campaign and all these assets will be created in my account, begin import. And so now this campaign has been successfully imported into this new account, and there it is again, okay? So we got it here both ways, uh, either me directly sending it, okay, or importing via the code. And so now that it's here, okay, and let me just show you, uh, let me open up pages, uh, let me open up uh, communications. Okay, let me open up forms. Okay. And so right now, inside of this test account, you know, we just had the test pages that we made in some of our previous videos. Inside of the list, we just had the one list that we created. Uh, again, for the test pages, we had just the test form here. Okay. And so now I'm going to go ahead and deploy this campaign. And we're going to see all these pages, um, all of these all the everything that we put in that campaign get added to this account so let me jump back in here I'm gonna click three dots right here and I'm gonna click deploy okay and from there I'm just gonna call this uh, test so deploy test deploy T right because only fits eight characters and again this is just for my reference only and I'm gonna go ahead and click import and this is actually going to import that entire campaign that we set up here inside of this new account. And so this um, gives you a little tutorial of what you need to do uh, to actually get everything set up. But I'm just going to click this X here because I'm going to show it to you. Um, over here on the right, you'll see a 0% done uh, deal. And what it's going to do is it's going to guide you through customizing that campaign inside of your account. Okay, so if you want, you need to customize the tags, change the name of the list, uh, you know, play around with the email sequences to make sure those emails fit your particular product. And it literally walks you through everything step by step, okay? But now that we're here on this page, let me go ahead and refresh this, and we're gonna see a bunch of new pages added to this account. Okay, so everything that we had created, and even the site uh, itself, because I had all those grouped as a site, all of these pages have now been added to this account via that campaign. And now that you have it, you would just have to go through and reword everything for yourself. Uh, for the list, let me go ahead and refresh this. And we'll see that the um, Think Wealthy list has now been added here. 
Uh, let's go into communications and check out the email sequences. And we will see that our two email sequences have been added. And let me just crack one of these open, okay, for the ebook. And again, you would change the name, you know, change the name of the sequence to whatever your ebook is or whatever your free giveaway is, okay? And um, looks like it's gonna make me do that now because it's otherwise it's too long. I'll just leave it like this for now, okay? But inside of it, okay, because again, I already have email sequences already built out. I already had uh, emails going out to people after they downloaded my ebook. And since we added that sequence to our campaign, okay, um, when somebody imports the campaign, they're gonna get the email sequence as well. So right away, they're gonna get the tag, you know, that they've downloaded the ebook. And again, you would just rename it to whatever you need it to be. Um, here's the uh, ebook you requested. Here's a six hour reply email that we had in there, a little two day wait or 18 hour wait. And then there's a follow up email to again, make sure that they've downloaded the ebook, okay? And then same thing down here, make sure that they've downloaded the ebook. And then we had a little split in here. Um, and really what that was for um, was depending on, you know, what they did, you know, cause what I'm trying to do is we're wanting to try to drive them uh, to taking some additional action with these emails. And if they took that action, uh, we're gonna run them down this path here. And again, you'll be able to customize this. So we even added a little split here to where you could put a trigger in here. So based on whatever action you wanted them to take inside of your email sequence, if they did take it, you could run them down this path here. If they did not take it, uh, you could run them down this path here. And I have it to where you can actually add them to another sequence. This is actually gonna add them to my SOS welcome sequence um, right here. So um, you'll be able to customize this as you see fit. But again, this email sequence will come with that campaign. So let me just jump out of it. And then as well in the forms, let me go ahead and refresh this and we'll see a couple of new forms uh, that have now been added so that way they're good to go and available on your pages. So that way you can start collecting emails right away. And let's just take a look at one of the forms, okay, for the calculator. And we'll click edit. And we'll see, again, all the settings should have transferred over perfectly. So again, I'm just asking for the first name and email. Check. Uh, let's save and next. Okay. And we had a single opt-in. And so you'll you'll set up the page, okay? Because again, uh, when you upload this, you're gonna have to set up, you know, what is gonna be your thank you page. Again, I'd be able to easily set that up here. You know, and then again, this is the page that I'd want them to land on. Okay, click save. Okay, and again, uh, since we're talking about the calculator form, I want them to go to the calculator thank you page, click save and next. Uh, we're not gonna send a welcome message here because again, in our sequence, we're sending them some welcome email, so I don't need this to send them one. And then again, we had some automation set up here to where it's gonna add them to your primary list, okay? Um, and then as well, it's gonna subscribe them to that sequence uh, that we showed you. So right away, they're getting dropped right into the sequence. Um, we can also have it add the tag because we did allow, um, we did bring the tags over so you can tag them, okay, with uh, the download of the calculator tag. Okay, so that way once they're, once they get this, they're going to be, get the tag, they're going to be added to your, to your list, okay, which you'd want to rename uh, to suit your business. Um, and then as well, they're getting added to that sequence, okay, and back here in the sequence, and I think we were looking at the four currencies one, but again, they're pretty much identical. Okay, so we'd wanna add them to this particular sequence. And I just wanna verify one thing here, because um, I don't think I had a starting trigger on this because the form is dropping them right into the sequence for me. Okay, and that's why I had it like that. So, okay, so when they get, so the, the form is actually gonna drop them into the sequence, so there's no starting rule. The form, when they fill out the form, is gonna drop them in here, and it's also gonna add this tag. So that's why I was wondering why it was blank. Let me go back here. I was wondering why I didn't have this thing adding a tag, but now I know why, because it's actually dropping them directly into the sequence, and once they're in the sequence, they're getting the tag uh, right here, okay? So we can leave that blank. So they're getting added to your primary list. They're dropping into the sequence where they're gonna get the tag. Okay, so the form is good to go with that. And you would just wanna double check, you know, again, that's what this 0% is here for. It's gonna walk you through step by step. Cause again, you're gonna to wanna to rename all this stuff. 
Okay, so the tag names that we had were the ones that corresponded with my Think Wealthy website and my Think Wealthy YouTube channel. And so obviously that's not your channel, it's not your website. So you'd wanna change the name of the tags. And so to do that, you would just kind of click here. It's gonna give you a little video about, you know, hey, you know, here's how you change the name of your tags. And you're gonna say, all right, I'm ready, take me there. And it's gonna bring you to the tag section to where you can now go ahead and rename these tags. Okay, so I could just simply edit them. And let's say you had a different name for your ebook, you would just change it here, right? Uh, and change it to whatever you, you need it to be. Uh, change your tag description, and you could also rename the category. Again, um, I'm using this category name because that was my website. Okay, but if you have a different website or uh, way you wanna have these tags categorized, you would just change it, okay? And then once you're done with that, you would mark the tags as complete. You would just, okay, so you would go back into tags. You would mark it as complete. So I've updated the name of all the tags. Awesome. Now you're gonna go to lists. Let me check out lists here. Let me rename the list to what I need it to be. And then I'm gonna mark it as complete. And I'm gonna go right down the list. Okay, let me double check these email sequences. Let me change the name of all the, all the emails. Let me change all the copy that's inside of the email so that way it fits my uh, free giveaway or my download. And then you would come in here and click complete. Same thing with the pages and then same thing with the forms. And we just updated one of the forms. But again, you would just follow this step by step and it's gonna walk you through and let you know how close you are to being done with renaming everything and customizing uh, this campaign template to be your own. So guys, that's the nuts and bolts of A, how to uh, go ahead and make a campaign. So once you have pages and lists and sequences all set up, you can create a custom campaign based on all of that. And then B, how to share that campaign with other Kartra users, either by sharing it directly with their email or creating a share code that they can use, they can import uh, your campaign directly to their account. And then C, we showed you what to do if somebody shares a campaign with you how to um, go ahead and get that added to your account, and from there, how to go through and customize that campaign with the information for your, for your website, your products, or your services. So hopefully you guys found value in this training, and we're actually gonna be creating a few more campaigns that I'm gonna be using as free giveaways. So again, if you haven't already signed up for Kartra, again, it is the most powerful tool on the planet to run your entire business online. Click the link below this video. We've hooked it up to where you can get a $1 14-day trial of Kartra. And all you need to do is send me an email with your receipt showing me that you uh, you signed up for Kartra and I'll be able to see inside of my uh, inside of my Kartra account that you signed up using my link. And uh, from there, I will send you either the share code um, or share directly with you. I can share with you this particular campaign so that way you can have an authority page like this uh, ready to go for your business. Again, you just have to customize it uh, for yourself and for your business. Uh, but either way, it'll be easy for you just to upload it into your account and then start changing everything uh, to suit and just like that you'll be up and running with your own website using Kartra and I'll also include some of my other uh, top producing uh, funnels as well so that way you can just upload those right to your account um, if you have free giveaways free lead magnets things like that that you're using to build your email list you'll be able to just kind of get up and get running and get started quickly using Kartra so hopefully you guys found value in this detailed walkthrough of how to set up a campaign how to share a campaign and also how to import a campaign to your new account Hopefully you guys got value. If you did, make sure to give it a comment, give it a like below, and I will see you guys in the next video.